here we are, chat. Everything is finally working. Everything's all set up. So for those of you just joining us now, or are watching this later on YouTube, um, so we just spent the last hour dealing with some technical stuff. Um, the game wasn't working properly. Like, the audio was really crusty and just I couldn't figure it out. So what I ended up doing is I stopped the stream and I set up my Wii U and paid a whole $9.19 to get this on the Wii U Virtual Console. And now I'm capturing off my Wii U, so I've got my gamepad in my hand. This is how we're playing Mario Luigi. We're gonna have fun. So anyways, to preface this, uh, like I tried to say earlier, chat, I, I like Mario and Luigi, but I never really got to keep up with the series. I played the first one and Bowser's Inside Story a lot when I was young, but I just never got around to playing the other ones, even though I've got them all. So, I figured since I want an excuse to stream them, let's just stream them from the beginning. I want to do some more RPGs. This seems like a good way to do more of them. Let's see how it goes. Let's pick file one for good luck this time. Alright, everything's capturing. Can't show my usual background because the way it's set up, but it's fine. The Goodwill Ambassador from the Bean Bean Kingdom has arrived. It's cool chat. The whole game is on the TV, and it's also on my Wii, game, Wii U gamepad. I wish to improve my kingdom's ties with the Mushroom Kingdom. Cutscene's still looking a bit weird there. I bring a gift from Queen Bean. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I did manage to get a copy of Partners in Time, because um, it took me a couple of years to get my first DS. Because, like, we couldn't afford one back then. But Bowser's Inside Story was great. I have a copy of Partners in Time now. There we go. So we're just going to start the series from the beginning with the GBA original. I know there's a remake of this in Bowser's Inside Story on 3DS. We'll play them eventually. But anyways, chat. We saw this scene, like, an hour ago. <laughs> and now we're actually doing it properly. Emergency situation. Audio sound good? Game too loud? Quiet? Am I too loud? Quiet? Did you see the Kingdom Courier? The gamepad is honestly not that bad of a controller. I actually like the D-pad. And I'm Toad Chat. We're gonna explore Mario's house. They made this entire little set piece here. Just for like, five seconds of gameplay. <laughs> like I was saying before, a lot of Flash animations love to use this area. Hmm, I hear humming. Looks good, sounds good. Just stomp on Toad, good old Mario. Princess Peach! Princess Peach! Better get out of there, mister. Alright. Didn't expect to have, like, this set up today, but now it's all good. I, I got, like, a tiny little table set up just for the Wii U. It's really... A mess of wires right now because it's just such short notice. Uh oh. Attacking me when my back is turned, huh? Well, that's typical. Come here, super coward brothers. Let's go. Let's go indeed. So, yeah, all the sound effects before were just, they were crusty and like really deep. There we go. Let's get him. Mario! When was your last battle? Did you already forget about your action commands? No, I did not, Toad. Press A as I land. Really should have known. Sorry for the interruption. Yep, just press A as you land to do an attack, extra damage. There we go. Mario! I forgot something. This is really important. You can also dodge Bowser's attacks. Do you want to know how? Nope, I know how. Oh, really? Should've known. Sorry for the interruption. Air Toad, just stay quiet. Stay quiet and let me dodge. So, the thing about this game is you have the option of dodging enemy attacks, which is cool. Remember that thing kind of just, like, blew my mind back in the day? Blah. Wait a second, listen, this is no time for fighting, even though I would have won. 
Listen to me, everyone. Something terrible has happened. The Goodwill Ambassador from our neighbor, the Bean Bean Kingdom, just paid a visit. Yeah, but it was no friendly visit. The Ambassador stole Princess Peach's voice. She can only talk in explosions, and replaced it with this explosive vocabulary. This is just like one of my Electrode videos. All you can do is boom. Oh, if I kidnap the prince if I kidnap the princess in this state, she'll wreck my castle. Mario, do something super. Mario, please go and retrieve Princess Peach's beautiful voice. Only you can do it. The perpetrator came from the Bean Bean Kingdom. If you head over there, you should be able to learn more. <laughs> yes, go capture that fiend and get back Peach's voice, and then I can kidnap her. We'll take my Koopa Cruiser and reach the Bean Bean Kingdom in no time. Mario, we leave immediately. That's not good. Oh, so off on another adventure yet again. Just hope your long vacation hasn't left you out of shape. And stretch out and warm up here in this plaza. Oh, and I'd like to talk to everyone around. I talked to everyone around here. Who knows what you might learn? All right, the plaza is just a place for you to get extra items. You found a mushroom. Oh wow, my mushroom! You got it for me? No. But but what? Aww. Won't you please return my mushroom to me? Nope. But aww. Won't you please return my mushroom to me? Okay. Oh, thank you so much, yes, but say, you're going to go to the Bean Bean Kingdom, huh? You better keep it then. Please take this as a going away gift, I insist. You got a super mushroom. Good luck with all your jumping and stuff over there in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Alright. Not much to really figure out, it's just you can jump around. Oh dear. Act trouble. I've gotten separated from the Bowser baddies. Uh, listen, do you know where the Lord Bowser has gone? Yes. He went that away. Okay, thanks. It's almost time to assemble. Good boy. Can't miss that. Gotta hurry. There he goes. I'm glad that everything worked out, chat. Like, I was really worried that, like, I was gonna just scrap everything. And I'm like, nope, nope, we're spending an hour while I set up this crap. This is weird. I can't seem to find my precious belonging. Mario, do you think maybe you could help me look for it? Sure. I think I dropped what was on the walk in the ledge here. You know, when you approach suspicious-looking areas, the action icon changes. If I were you, I'd ask the guy near the fountain about action icons. No, we don't need to do that. Fun fact, if you take this item all the way uh, ahead in the game, it'll just disappear from your inventory. Hey, that's it. That's the precious belonging I've been looking for. Thank you. The best. The best. Please take this in return. There he goes. I know, let me get that. One mushroom. Bowser's up there! <laughs> I love the noises Mario and Luigi make in this. There's the save book. So, chat, look at that save book. On a Game Boy Advance screen, I couldn't tell that that was a book. And it's like, um, it's, it's like backwards, because, because like, uh, made in Japan, right? But, um, when I was a kid, I always thought this was like some kind of, like, card or something. I couldn't tell that it was supposed to be a book on an actual GBA screen. Even though it, like, flips up like that. Alright, chat, everything's working out just fine. Toad Town Square. Everything's a-okay -okay now. I'm glad we're able to play a video game now. Yeah, so I recently returned from a really nice trip to the Bean Bean Kingdom. Ah, uh, Hoo Hoo Mountain, Oho Ocean, Chuckle Huck Woods, Teehee Valley, so much to see. I've recorded all my travels in the save album. Bowser's Koopa Cruiser is parked just up ahead. Ooh, that is one mean machine, boy. Anyway, it's time you were on your way. Head in that direction once you're ready, okay? But, uh, rushing headfirst into trouble like you always do is crazy, so be sure to save in that save, save album. Looks like a floppy disk icon. Yeah, I can see that. Luigi was actually blocking me there, it's funny. 
Master Mario! Why, who on earth is saying that? Say, chat. This chap looks familiar here. Danny, have you recognize him? I don't think anyone at Nintendo would. It would appear I'm just in time. I have prepared a suitcase for you to take with you on your long journey. I'm quite sure it will prove useful, as it holds many items and outfits. Please take it. You got a suitcase. Just press select to open your suitcase and check the menu screen. Then you can use any items you found on your journey, or even change your clothes. It's also a good idea to use that screen to double check your personal status. Once you board the Koopa Cruiser, you can take your time and look through it. Now then, I have one more parting gift, as it were. Some funds for your trip. Here you go. You got a hundred coins. Oh gracious, Master Luigi! Are you going to the Bean Bean Kingdom as well? Oh, you're just seeing Master Mario off. A capital idea. I do believe I'll join you. Master Mario, I'm going on ahead. I shall be waiting for you in front of the Koopa Cruiser. There we go. Never really made sense to me why they got rid of, uh, got rid of Toadsworth. Like, what did he do? Like, he, he was such a staple character to me. I don't under really understand why he had to go. Where the heck is everybody? Mario. You're late. What were you doing? We're leaving right now, so get on board and make it snappy. If I gave Bowser a low, rumbly voice, it would kill my throat before we're even an hour in. <laughs> well, so what do you think? Incredible, isn't it? This is my newest weapon, the Koopa Cruiser. Mm, yes, very good. Now all I need are my baddies. Bowser baddies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Now, yeah, where are they? Eh? Yeah, one of green blazes. Hey, you. Are you signing up to join my crew of Bowser baddies? I see, I see. You want me to bring you along that badly, huh? Yes, you. Oh, that's rich. Don't be modest, Mr. Green. I mean, you look like a real pain, but I'll take you anyway. Hey, you, stop. Your gnarliness. The baddies have just arrived. Hey, assembly's over here, you blithering idiots. All right. Should I just game on you a little bit? All baddies have assembled. We should now begin boarding the Koopa Cruiser. Oh, good! Then we can depart. And with increased headcount, too. Excellent. Your filthiness. Boarding is now complete. Except for one deserter. What? Move it, you idiots. Initiate cruiser pursuit. Run, Luigi, run! <laughs> the sky's above the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, you down there in the ship's belly. Mario and, uh, what's your name? Green guy. Mm -hmm. I hope you like that running joke, because we're gonna hear a lot of it. <laughs> Mario and a Mr. Green Mario brother guy. Look alive down there, will you two? We're about to arrive in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Press select to open your suitcase. Arrange your stuff. You're ready to roll. And report to the deck pronto. Better save. You never know what could happen. You never know. Poor Luigi. My favorite character, Green Guy. That's where the hand was. Yeah, so you may not know this, but we Bowser baddies recently added a new member. Yep, he's in training until we land the Bean Bean Kingdom. Ready? Press start to switch positions between front and back. Oh yeah, press start to switch positions between front and back. Look at that chat. Oops. Hang on. 
That's the Wii U menu. I can make save states on this virtual console. Ready? A button controls the lead guy. B button controls the guy in the back. Oh yeah. A button controls the lead guy. B button controls the guy in the back. They were colored like that because I had Luigi in front. Ready? You see a brother's block. Make sure you hit the block that matches your color. You hit the block that matches your color. The blocks will move sideways. Hit the block that matches your color. The block will move sideways. There we go. Three coins. Let's get above deck now. I'm busy taking pictures. Don't talk to me right now. Hey, there, you two. Yeah, you two mustache dudes. You're about to enter the Bean Bean Kingdom, so you have your passports with you, right? Well, it looks like you've got a suitcase there. Tell you what, go ahead and press select to open your suitcase. Why, oh, you've got them right here. Wow, it sure is nice that Bowser's on top of this thing, on top of these things with his crew. You think, you know, as a villain, he, uh, wouldn't care about these kind of regulations. But hey, there aren't any photos. These won't get you into the Bean Bean Kingdom. No sir, no way. No how. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. If we take your pictures here, you should be just fine. The great Bowser's called you to the deck. I'll let you two cut in line. Oh, yeah. Lucky. Snapping photos is easy. Just stand on that map there, see? Right there. Step on the map once you're ready. No hurry. Yeah, Mr. Green Stash, you step back. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Oops, forgot to tell you. Listen, when you're getting your picture taken, stand still. Don't go pressing up, down, left, or right on the controls pad to hold a pose. Like this? Oh, come on! It ended right as I did that. No, 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 take it again. That's like blinking during the photo. The animation ended on the frame he took it. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, Mario, you step back nice and easy. And away we go. Stare right to the camera. Don't press up, down, left, or right. Do goofy poses. Okay. Great, I've taken passport photos for both of you. Aren't we all happy now? Happy all around. Let's go. Do it again. Those let you in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Let's go. Chat, I tried. I really tried. He happened to get the frame where the animation stopped. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. No funny picture for Mario now. I mean, th these pictures kind of just summarize the whole game anyway. It's almost funnier. <laughs> that goes there, this goes here. Fucking hold isn't easy. If you mess up, you gotta start all over again. Oh, Mario, it's me, that lost guy. Hey, thanks for telling me which way to go to the Mushroom King in the Mushroom Kingdom. I was kind of panicking. Thanks to you, I was the first one to board the Koopa Cruiser. Here, let me give you this. Alright, that's why I told him where to go. It's nice to be nice. Mushroom. There we go. Oops, I broke an entire, entire barrel. Hey! Watch it, you clumsy oafs! Don't break the great Bowser's cargo. It's important stuff. The deck? The deck's just up ahead. But, uh, before you go there, you need to make sure you won't slow Lord Bowser down. So I'll teach you how to fight as a pair. I get experience for doing it. Actually, I'm pretty sure even if you say no, he forces you to anyway. Then go have a look at that barrel over there. But remember... You're about to face the best of Bowser's most elite troops, so prepare yourselves. Oh no, what could it be? He comes in and says something like, Bowser will yell at me if I don't do this, so I'm telling you anyway. Let me show you how to dodge. Mario uses the A button, and Green uses the B button. Just jump to dodge. 
Now then, little baddies, attack Mario. Attack! Halt! Press the A button here. Next, attack Mr. Lean and Green. Halt! Press B button now. So as you can see, depending on how much or how you time your jump, you might not only dodge but counterattack as well. The thing is, though, there's some attacks like Bowser's Flames that you can't counter. Alrighty then, practice up. Oh, whoops, I almost forgot. You attack the same way as when there's only one of you. Except Mr. Lean and Green uses the B button for his attack command. Thanks for subbing there, friend. Appreciate it. Press the B button when you want to jump on an enemy. Now you can practice up. Alright, welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm glad we seem to have a lot of people here having fun after spending a literal hour setting this up because of that issue. I was not expecting a sound issue like that. Or Move along, nothing to see. I don't remember if there's any hidden blocks in the Koopa Cruiser. Yeah, if you say no, you have to break this barrel, and then the dude will be like, I have to teach you anyway, so... But you get extra experience by doing both battles. Easy. Excellent. Plus four. Level up. Okay, so how the level ups work in this game is... Every time you level up, you get to play a bonus... little bonus reel. So how this works is you select a stat, and it'll roll a random number and give you an extra, extra points for that stat. But if you pick the same stat multiple levels in a row, the numbers will get smaller. Like right now it's like 1, 2, and 3, but it'll go down to like 1 and 0 if you just pick the same stat. Um, Let's just go for an attack for this one. Okay, good. I'll, I'll take it. Getting ones feels really bad, because I'm pretty sure if you get ones, it still, like, reduces the, the number. But anyways, come here, you. Come here, you. Aren't the Goombas friends? Which is it, Nintendo? Which is it, Alpha Dream? Oh, wait, no, we can't ask them anymore. Haha! -ha. Oof. Ah, it's too quick. Can't catch it. I have to get ready for Bean Bean vibration. Oh, is that why they're... Wait, is that why they're putting them in the barrels? I never put that together until now. <laughs> they're smuggling the Goombas in. That's what they're doing. Oh, it's Mario and Mr. Greeny. Can you two help me out? I'll teach you something important about going into battle in the process. No charge. Now you can catch these guys. But first, you have to stop them and start a battle. Getting one is like, oh yeah, we're playing Smeargle later. Let's not get ones for our stats. That's right. If you stomp on a monster as you enter battle, it'll start the battle by taking damage. Youch. Well, isn't that super cool? Anyway, rest is up to you. Oops, forgot something. If you fail to stomp on a monster and it hits the dude in the back when you enter battle, and that guy can't move until his turn comes. Watch out. Easy. Alright. So, I forget the differences in stats. I believe Luigi starts with, um... I think he gets, like, more HP and defense overall. And Mario gets more, like, attack and so or something. Attack and speed. Um, but I want to... Oh yeah, stash is a st If you're wondering what stash is, that's your luck stat in this game. Having a higher stash means, um, you have a higher critical chance. And, um, you also get, um... It also apparently makes shopkeepers, like, lower their prices slightly. It's not the worst thing in the world to increase, but I think for now, early game, put it in... Just going for attack is fine. Oh, Luigi! Hey, I thought of a new nickname for Luigi. Green 12. I like the Smeargle. Ooh, thanks. Well, I guess I can't pick attack for Luigi now. He's guaranteed to be weaker for a while. I was really hoping for that three. Hey, can you get that other guy? You also just jump with both characters there. Okay, it's not bad. We 
We got a Goomba. Ooh, thanks. Ready? All right, perfect. This is already a lot of fun, chat. I haven't played these in so long, so it's been... I'm sure it'll be fun, especially when we get to partners in time. So I should probably mention, um, these games are pro what I did my first challenge runs as, as a kid. Um, like, how do I say this? I, like, I only really played this game and Bowser's Inside Story. Not the remakes, of course, um, because they didn't exist. I, when I was young, I beat the game, these games, both Superstar Saga and Inside Story, by only doing mandatory battles. So I essentially did a low experience run for both those games. And let me tell you, by the end of that, oh, the bosses just kill you one hit, so you have to dodge everything. It is hell. Felt good when I did it for Inside Story, though. Hey, according to the book, Bean Bean Vacations, you can save your travels by hitting the album there. Save album. Hit it often to save your travels. Hitting that block there activates the pinch crane. I like to call it Mr. Pinch. Don't ask me why. In case it's not really obvious, you should be able to use old Mr. Pinch to move that cargo. Huh? What in the... Who did this? Who put cargo in that area? How are we supposed to get to the deck with this in the way? I'd say this is the game where, like, that actually works as for an RPG for a low experience run, because you can dodge every attack in this game if you're good enough, so... It, it works. There we go. Hmm. Poor Luigi. Uh-oh. Looks like the crane mistook you for cargo. That looks... uncomfortable. Hey, since you're up there, why don't we use you as a lookout? Your rancidness. We will soon pass over the border between the Mushroom and Bean Bean Kingdoms. Mm, nice work. You can go back below decks. Now. Eh, what's with all the hoopla? Whoa, what now? Who would have thought you'd catch up to the great Cackletta in even a hundred million years? You. You are the fiend who stole Princess Peach's voice. How dare you pull off such a cool evil plan? Oh, I dare. And now I'm going straight back to the Bean Bean Kingdom so my next plan can take root. I have no time to chat with the likes of you. Waffle, take care of this. Oh, uh, hold it! I am the great Cackletta's most best pupil, who is named Waffle. I am here, laughing at you. If you are giving us the chase just to get your silly princess's voice, then you are idiots of foolishness. Princess Peach's sweet voice will soon be the bread that makes the sandwich of Cackletta's desires. And this battle shall be the delicious mustard on that bread. The mustard of your doom. go. Next, it is the turn of you. This guy's got fury. Alright, let's beat him up, chat. Gee, I wonder how to tell who he's gonna attack. Get him mean and green. Oh, good. Hey, wanna dodge this nut's attacks? Yeah, sure, tell me anyway. Before he attacks, watch what he says really carefully. Such mumbling, stop it. When the stuff this nut says is red. He's attacking you, Mario. Bowser just like crawling to the other side. <laughs> All enemies have a hint in their attacks, so keep your eyes on them. Then let's pop him down. Let's take out this heavy readiness for this. He attacked Luigi first, but he does double with that one. I remember that. 
heavy readiness for this. I mean, you can also just jump both characters at the same time, but that doesn't really work for all attacks. Some ag some attacks will uh, patterns will actually punish you if you try to do that for everything. Right now, it's early on, so it's easy. Now is when I ram you. There we go. Yeah, this game is very charming. I think this will be fun to go through these. Like I said, I've only really gotten into two of them. There's still plenty to play. Or it would be sad that there's not more coming. Oof. Ugh. How could think rats like you beat such an awful nasty as me? Headgear. And headgear always look weird. I have fury. Ah, now is when the talking stops. I do not have time to stop and smell foul roses such as you. One fell swoop is the way I will deal with you, Fink Rats. There we go. I like how early easy boss just manages to completely shred the Koopa Cruiser. General Starshade, massive explosion has been sighted. Confirmation. I need confirmation. General Starshade. Meteorites confirmed. Impact in Stardust Fields. Initiate recon. Emergency, emergency. Bean Bean Borderland. Oh no. Yeah, I've been wanting to do more RPG streams, aside from just Pokemon, especially after doing games like Explorers of the Sky. So I figured game a game like this would be a fun way to kind of get into doing more of them. Because, you know, they're longer playthroughs, so, you know, they could be hit or miss on the channel, but we'll see. Alright, let's make a save. <laughs> the picture. I'm gonna have to explain that picture, like, every stream now. Why didn't you do a funny face for Mario? Koopa Cruiser, we haven't finished paying it off. Oh no. Find Lord Bowser. Oh, <laughs> help us. But Bowser fell on the other side of the border. Okay. Well, well, talk about a nice surprise. Check it out, bro. Looks like the famous Mario Brothers have arrived. Man, that brings back the memories, doesn't it? Good times, good times. So what's up, Brothers M? You two heading off on a journey together? Oh, so you probably want us to let you pass, huh? Yeah, well, I'm sure you guys know this is the border of the Mushroom Kingdom. That's right, it's the border. Since we're the border security, can't let you in. Until you do some jumping worthy of the Mario name. Wanna do the wanna do the border jump? Yeah, let's do it. That's right, chat, we gotta jump through the border. Alright, let me see if I can do this. I used to be terrible as hell at this as a kid. There we go. Yeah. I'm still scared I'll mess it up. Very cool, that was some incredible jumping. Yeah, it's called the border jump. I didn't really pick up on the joke as a kid either. <laughs> Their faces up top look weird on uh, when enlarged. Okay. Just beyond here is the Bean Bean Kingdom. You be extra careful when traveling there. So, you can actually go back in there and earn extra beans, which you can use for stat drinks later in the game, but I don't really want to spend a bunch of time doing that. I'd rather not. Hold up, brothers. Since we've been on duty, you two are the first people ever to cross our border. I mean, ever. We've got to commemorate this occasion by giving you this. You got a Bean Bean map. As long as you have a map, you'll feel safer in foreign lands, right? Press select to view the menu screen and check out that map. Alright. 
this is the first warp pipe. We're essentially just marking this uh, for later in the game for fast travel. Okay. Bean Bean Bulletin. Disturbing facts uncovered in Area 64. Recent studies show that the spiky Stardust Defense System, SSDS, can be jumped. It's easy. Just run and press A and B and then immediately press B. Such a defense gap is appalling. Improvements are demanded that to prevent an increase in intruders. That's right. Remember, chat, you have to quickly press A, a and then B. Like this. Or, you know, just do this. Advanced Tactics. <laughs> Both buttons at the same time. Let's take out the Ninja Turtle face. Chat, look at that and tell me that's not a Ninja Turtle face. There we go. Excellent. Plus four. I just realized, is my TV on? Very slightly, the volume on the TV is on, so the microphone wouldn't pick up anything. That's good. That's not Ninja Turtle face. Come on, how- It's totally a Ninja Turtle face. There we go. Plus four. Okay. Get a drink here. Bean Bean side. It's Bowser. Hey Mario, great timing. I could use a hand here. I'm kind of stuck. Well, keep your diet jokes to yourself. If they're not funny, just get me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Why could it be that Bowser, the great Koopa King, has fallen into my cannon? Ooh, how amusing. Who dares speak to me so? <laughs> I'm Tolstar, the great and famed king of Stardust Fields. I've heard tales of you, but you aren't very impressive in person. <laughs> you want me to get him out of there, little people? You must pay in coins. I will set him free for all your coins. And I'll even keep this most embarrassing incident a secret. That's not fair. Pardon me. I'm not sure I heard you correctly just now. You'll give me all 119 of your coins. All right. <laughs> Why, these are Mushroom Kingdom coins, aren't they? This is the Bean Bean Kingdom. I suppose I'll have to calculate their value in the local currency. Let's see, in today's exchange rate, 119 mushroom coins are worth about 10 Bean Bean coins. Apparently the Mushroom Kingdom's economy is like, not in a good spot right now, chat. I, I mean, I think they've got bigger problems than Princess Peach's voice. Oh, well, sorry, but for only 10 coins, I can't guarantee this secret won't slip out. <laughs> Yes, that means I'll need an additional 100 Bean Bean Coins. Go find them in Stardust Fields and bring them back to me. Then I'll help your Koopa King. Well, they are putting them everywhere, if that's true. Look around Stardust Fields and find me 100 coins. If you find them in blocks or win them in battles, check your menu to see how many you have. Alright. So, for this part, I mentioned beating the game with only mandatory battles. I remember when I was a kid doing this part, I made sure to get every possible coin without battling, and then I did as many mandatory battles as possible in order to, like, uh, get the remaining coins. Because there's not 100 coins outside of battles. You have to do some battles for this part. Alright. <clears throat> but we'll take out the, all the enemies now, of course, because we're not playing like that. There we go. I'm just now imagining a wholesome sprite edit of, like, um, this Smeargle and Teddy Ursa or something in a, in a Mario Luigi battle screen. That'd be cute. Teddy and Green Teddy. That'd be cute. I, like, hit the button too fast, so I paused for a second there. Hello, everybody. Welcome. 
you hit the button too fast, you, like, uh, don't get all the coins. It's bad. So don't do that. Kenny and Smear will have, like, the Mario Luigi hats. That would be cute. Okay. Luigi doing less damage. Okay. Alright, chat. What stat should I go for? Um... Maybe go for HP. Ordinarily, I, I like when I was a kid, I would just alternate between HP and attack for every character. But I probably should spread it out a bit more so I can, um... Stash is like your luck stat. <clears throat> I did attack last, last one, so I don't want to do that. I want to like alternate, I want to go back to a stat like every two levels or so. I'll just take HP. Oh. That pinhead sucks. Kind of funny that they make it the luck stat. Isn't it like Bowser's inside story? Bowser's stash stat is like his shell or something? I don't recall. Luigi should probably level up from this. I almost just said Luigi will evolve after this battle, but that's not right. All things considered, I'm like a freaking adult now, so I should be fine in this bit in baby video game. BP is like your ma your mana, your special, your SP, whatever. When I get unlock special moves, you'll see. Luigi does get more HP by default. Um, you know what? I'll go with Stash. How about it? Oh, chat! Come on. Oh, that's some bad luck so far. That feels bad. Bike pads. Hold the control pad left to right. Go that direction, then press A, B, A, B, A, B. Oops. Okay. All right. Position yourself and get this. fall down here, so we gotta do the thing. Maple syrup. That's like ethers in this game. Stardust Fields, Area 64. Stash is like your luck stat, so it affects critical hits, and it also like affects shopkeeper prices slightly. There are like critical hits. It has like a... The word lucky will appear when they happen. I don't think they can be happen for brothers attacks though. Sergeant Starshade, shooting stars we just witnessed were perhaps alien bombardment, perhaps. In the name of the Starshade brothers, we shall find the alien scum. They will rue the day. General Starshade, sir, I've confirmed the presence of a suspicious unknown entity. It is a vivid green color that pierces the sky. Mm, yes, sighting confirmed. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent. Pursue additional visual contact immediately. Look at him spin. Oh, incredible! It is none other than Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi sighting confirmed. Sergeant Starshade, change of mission objective. Obtain autograph. Stat. Mmm, I see. Incredible. To think Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of, of some vile enemy. Her voice must be recovered. No matter what it takes. Priority one, Sergeant Starshade. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well. We Starshade Brothers will teach you the secrets of Brothers Action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, Special Brothers Action Training shall commence immediately. Are you ready to undergo training? Okay. When you wish to jump up to a high ledge, Luigi can jump on Mario to perform a high jump. First, press the L button to... yeah. Choose your high jump. Hi! Then press the B button to jump. At the moment you jump on him, press the B button again. See? You can jump higher than you can on your own. Indeed, it's a jumping synergy. 
everybody. Do you remember another explanation? Or, yeah, <laughs> require another explanation, no. Very well, Luigi. Use the high jump you just learned to reach a higher ledge. Excellent work, men. Use your high jump. You can climb ledges you could never climb alone. Now press start to change positions, Mario, sir. You move to the rear. Press the L button to choose the spin jump. Spin! Then press the B button to jump. See? You ride piggyback. Now if you press the B button once more, the two of you will spin through the air together. Press the control pad while you spin to move through the air. It is possible to use the spin jump to jump across the wide valleys and dangerous pits. Yeah, as a tiny as a kid on the tiny GBA screen, I could not really tell they had big goofy smiles. Like you could not really see that. It's hard to see a lot of details on the old GBA. It's possible to use the spin jump to jump across wide valleys and dangerous pits. You require another explanation? Careful not to mash. I remember mashing yes over and over at this part. Excellent. See, boys, actions that the rear member performs using the B button are called brother's actions. Press the L button to choose an action and the B button to perform it. Remember, there are more actions that only brothers like you can perform. Training complete. Ready to return? Excellent. Now the proving grounds. The time has come to show the fruits of your training. You must use the high jump and spin jump we just taught you to reach the flag way up there. Good luck, soldiers. Master Mario. Yeah, Master Luigi, you truly are super brothers. I salute you. You have perfectly mastered the high jump and spin jump. Their sprites do look a little weird from the front, don't they? It doesn't really look like teeth, does it? <laughs> may, uh, anyways, may your mission be successful. Good luck out there. Move out. There we go. This is already a lot of fun, chat. Even though we're still in the tutorial section of the game, I'm still having a lot of fun here. Oops. I... Hang on. Oops. I accidentally tapped uh, RT there on the, on the gamepad. I'm playing with the gamepad right now as my controller. That's all I really got for my Wii U now. I have access to Brothers Attacks now. We'll do that in a moment. I should probably wait for the tutorial on it, though, just so, like, in case it resets stuff. Well, I know how to do them. Change to mode 3. There we go. There we go. Because of, whenever you unlock a new, like, field move, it, active, it becomes, like, a new, um, attack. So, there's three modes here, as you can see. The first... Two modes are, um, uh, the first, uh, yeah, the first two modes here are, like, slow-mo, and they show, like, the button inputs, but they cost more points to use them as the chant, as a thing there. Also, thank you for the raid there, Mine. I appreciate it. Welcome. But, uh, mode number three is the one, it costs one less point, but there's no, like, slowdown or button prompts, so you have to, like, memorize it and know what to do, but I know what to do. Bab. B. A, B. You never forget. There we go. I'm flexing on you with rank threes. Oh, you can't do them, Mina? <laughs> so yeah, you can let the brothers' attacks go slow and show you the inputs so that you can do them easier, but you can save points by just letting that happen. There we go. Oh, I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console right now, Mina. Um, I don't know if the colors look weird to you, but the way I was playing it, the sound effects were all, like, crunchy and crispy, so I just, like... <clears throat> pardon me. We spent an hour, um, setting up... I went and got my Wii U set up, and I downloaded on that. That's what I'm playing right now. Deep fried sound effects, yeah. Luigi goes off screen, so that middle one can be a little weird. I don't know, the game looks ex 
I mean, the way the game's capturing right now, it looks exactly like I remember, so I'm not really sure what the, um, why the color palette looks weird for you guys. Wii U Virtual Console desaturates GBA colors a bit, yeah? Does it? I don't recall. I've played plenty of games on GBA Virtual Console. In fact, I remember when I when I streamed um, the GBA Metroid some months ago, um, I actually practiced them first by playing them on my Wii U here. And I, I didn't notice like any difference, so I don't know. I just definitely didn't like notice it, have not noticed any difference on Wii U Virtual Console. Okay. Let's do this. I'm running out of brother's points here. You can restore BP with um syrup. Just wanna take out you easily. Oh, there's a lucky. Nice. Let's go. Syrup. Okay, I almost missed that. I think I got it. Hang on. Can I reach that from here? Yeah, I can, right? Oh. I didn't go far enough. Oh no, I can't, can I? I guess I gotta do it from the top. Looks like I can just make it there. There we go. We were to if you tap L and R at the same time, it resets to basic jumps. Beep, beep, beep. Mario and Luigi, sirs! Okay. Let me see. This is an emotional reunion, sirs. By your leave, there is something we completely forgot to mention to you earlier. Affirmative. You see, when you master a technique in the field, you can also use it in battle. Since you have mastered the high jump and the spin jump, you can now use these techniques in battle. You must confirm technique mastery in combat simulation. Hmm. I don't know, chat. It looks fine for me, but at the end of the day... The option was, I guess, slightly desaturated colors and crunchy deep-fried sound effects, and, uh, choice was obvious for me. Here we go. Proceeding with Brothers Attack Tutorial. First, as you can see in Mario's command options, there's a new attack command called Brothers Attack. Brothers Attacks are duo techniques, in which Master Mario and Master Luigi attack together. When you choose this command, I don't think I need the tutorial, but it makes me, it won't let me skip it. Your list of brothers attacks appears. Okay, let's see your attack, Mario. I guess it would look different for you, Mina, because like, yeah, you were just streaming it. Oh! As you can see, it's grown dark. Immediately after the light fades, you'll see a button input icon. But do not worry, things move in slow motion during button input. Halt! As you can see, not only do things move slowly, but icons are clearly displayed. Press the button, please. By the way, if you hit the command exactly, something like this will appear. And actually, there are multiple brothers attack uh, attack action commands. So on the next one, this time, check the timing and press the button on your own. Bravo, well done. Another super job by the super brothers. You have mastered it, sirs. That's how brothers attacks work. Next, I will tell you about the modes in brothers attacks. Modes are difficulty levels of the brother attacks. The modes can be changed. Just press the R and L buttons. Here, to change the modes. Yes, we figured it out. Mode two is without slow motion. Mode three is without button icons. Once you master action commands, try different modes for a greater challenge. 
Succeeding in the most difficult mode will benefit you greatly. Master Mario, Master Luigi, good luck. And once you succeed enough times, you may be able to devise some new advanced commands. Advanced commands are methods that further evolve your actions. When you learn one of these, you will flash and you will both understand. For now, just master the basic action commands. Brothers attack training complete. Almost! Lastly, I shall explain brothers points. You must use brothers points to execute brothers attack, so use your points wisely. Here ends the brothers attack lesson, really. Alright, finally. Thus, we can officially confirm that the field techniques are indeed executable in battle. Proper planning and preparation will ensure your safety throughout your journey. We wish you luck. Move out! <clears throat> okay. How many coins I got? 92. Alright. Oh, I can't go that way. You don't get anything special by hitting a high jump and entering battle. Okay. Uh, let me just finish off one of the cannons with this. Hang on, did it revert back to... It's still mode 3. Okay, good. Only 5 damage right now. Oops, I timed that poorly. Alright, I'll just use regular attacks to finish this one off. Luigi just out here with two freaking damage. Plus ten. Alright, chat, we went attack, HP. No Brothers point upgrade, so I should probably go with that this this turn. Since Splash Brothers is the best one for a good while. I see ones in there, but what about the rest of them? They all got ones, right? Yeah, I guess it's just a gamble. Please don't get one. Please don't get one. Oh, chat! That, that's three levels in a row now. All right, that looked weird. That feels bad. <laughs> this streamer's stealing my content ideas. That's right, I guess. I'm stealing all your ideas, Mina. There we go. There we go. Now, if only Nintendo would steal both of our ideas and give us more Mario Luigi. One's happened, yeah. One's happened! You can't- you gotta learn not to depend on them. What should I go for? Brothers points, defense, speed... Mm. I went- I tried stash last level for Luigi, so... Just go HP. Well, there's a two. I've gotten so many ones. Man, hang on a second here. Ugh, pardon me. I had to clear my throat. You got a five in power the other day? Damn. I can't remember the last time I'd seen that. Can it go up to five? Like, how many levels do you have to not choose? Do you have to just oh, not... No. Oh, damn. Do you have to not choose uh, that stat for it to be able to, um... Yeah, for it to be able to present a five to you. That's weird. do this. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. I just remembered something I gotta keep in mind. Um, there's no, like, heart blocks or even, like, like, ins or anything in this game. How, what this game does it is that, like, um, every time you beat a boss, it refreshes your stats or your, your health and brother's points. But there's not, like, a place to just heal yourself, right? Hmm. Wait. The bonus reel can go up to nine? How? Damn. I've never, I didn't know it could go that high. Probably because I don't mix and mash all the stats as much, but whatever. Probably because I don't really grind in these games, so I don't, like, get as much level ups by the end, but it's whatever. Um, let me splash, brothers. Oh, hang on. Okay, the tutorial did set this one back to mode one. Alright, I'll be fine though, going into the battle. 
You have to ignore the stat for like half the game to get it to nine. I didn't know it could go that high. Yeah, in general, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Luigi gets more um, HP and defense, and Mario gets more attack and speed. Just as a general like rule for them. All right. Now let me go here. I mean, the bonus you can't depend on too much. Like, a level up is still a level up and is good, but it hurts when you get a one when you know you could have got a three. Oops. Whatever, it's fine. I'm pretty sure I got enough anyway. 129, yeah. Invest only in HP, POW, and stash. That's what I usually do. You don't really need attack to up your own, like, defense and speed. Okay. Alright, chat, let's get out of here. So we went in one big loop. As you can see, there's a lot of coins you can get along the way. But even if you get all the blocks and ignore the battles, I don't think it's enough to get 100. Like, if you do all the blocks perfectly, which I made sure to do... There we go, you gotta do some. <laughs> Let's see here. You now got 137 coins. Took you long enough, but well done. I'll just be taking those coins now. Finally, let me out of here. Huh? You want out? You want me to help you? Who said I'd do that? Oh, you welcher. <laughs> You're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders be gone. Boss fight. Beat him up. Okay. I pressed both for some reason there, but it's fine. Jammin' tunes, I know. It's fun music. Shouldn't have spent my brother's points on that fly fight. <laughs> Just don't move. Time for syrup. I'm gonna have more- I'm gonna have an excess of this stuff. Come on. An excess of this stuff by the end of the game, so just go for it. I like all the boss themes in these games, although I haven't, like, played them- much of them, so what am I saying? <laughs> I still remember how to dodge him perfectly. Isn't that great? Oh, I got the advance already. I don't remember how to do these, though, or if they're that great, if I'm being honest. I think it's normally better just to use the basic one. No Luigi nut emote here. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. I choked in the middle of that. But how about this? <laughs> oh no, what do I do? Oh, okay, that wasn't the input for the advance. I forget what it does again. I forget how to do the advance ones. I forget not how the tree works for Bounce Brothers. I tried to input the wrong thing, but it's whatever. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. Oh, he's dead. Some of them hit multiple enemies. Okay, yeah. Alright, what do I go for? I think I'm gonna go for Stash. Let's do that. A fine mustache for a fine gentle- Yes, chat, that's what I wanna see! I wanna see that fine Italian mustache hit 13. Look at that. For Bounce Brothers, you just do A first. I was pressing a different button on purpose, Mina. You know what, I, I didn't miss it. Oh, no stash or brother's points for Luigi. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go speed for this one. Poor green 12. Poor green 12. Getting ones in every game. You, sir, 
have been griping far too loudly for some time. Yeah. He just shows up and does that. <laughs> no explanation. Ah! Mario, green stash. You gotta get Princess Peach's voice back. It's all up to you! There he goes. Alright. We did it. Chat, area one down. That was him gritting his teeth. You, you thought he was playing harmonica on the old GBA screen? I can see that. The sprite work in this game is very nice. I like it a lot. I remember, like, yeah, Flash animations back in the day loved Mario and Luigi assets. They were everywhere. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? Let me get up here first. There we go. Mushroom. Where are we going now, chat? You fiends! We... we found you at last, you scum! What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there's no mistake. You kidnapped Prince Peasley! <laughs> Trying to talk through coughing. Jesus, sorry, chat. We have witnesses. Now confess, villains. What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi? Lies. Bald face lies. The superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom would never come here. Yeah, yeah, they're not lying. They say they've come here chasing someone called Cackletta. And they're really, really tough. Nice of them to stick up for me after we kick his ass. Oh dear, oh my, oh boy, pardon us, sir. So sorry. See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Or so recent reports at a Hoo Hoo village claim. We have been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the prince's kidnapper. I'm just unplugging the charger here. Wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. That is all we have to go on. Yes, we fit that description. If you come across anything, please let us know. Reopen the investigation. All right. They look like gyroids. This is Hoo Hoo Village on the, the flanks of Hoo Hoo Mountain. The mountain is a sacred place. I know we have to go down first. But let's also check in here for stuff. Hammer blocks we can't do anything with. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually keep my coins. Yeah, the coins he ta uh, Tolster takes, you get back. So that's good. Excellent. Okay, not down here yet. I remember getting lost in this village as a kid, but I should be fine. If you climb down this mountain, you'll reach the town surrounding Bean Bean Castle. The townsfolk are so much more stylish and fashionable than people in this town. I just adore them. I like how they just have big holes in their houses. That always bugged the hell out of me as a kid. It's like, how could you, how do you live like that? To reach Hoo Hoo Mountain's Peak, you have either either get a ride from Blah Blah Nadon. Blah Blah Nadon? Is that how you say it? Or hike up. Hiking up the mountain's brutal, but if you can get a ride from Blah Blah Nadon, it's a snap. I saw the kingdom's prince, Prince Peasley, on the edge of the village. I'm sure of it. He was taken to the top of the mountain by some guy wearing a weird helmet. No matter how long you wait, Blah Blah Nadon won't come back. I feel it in my bones. Blah Blah Nadon. Blah Blah It's- I don't know how you're supposed to say it fast and correctly. But the, the words are there. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. He said he saw someone who looked like Prince Peasley, went to the summit, never returns. With Bla, uh, Blah Blah Nadon gone, we can't get to the top of the mountain. This isn't good. Long ago in this very mountain, the Hoo Hoo... The Hoo Hooligans developed the great Hoo Hoo civilization. At the summit, there still remain many mysterious remnants of this once great people. Huh? You want to climb down to where there's a town? You just keep heading left down this path. I'm 
tired of living in the sticks. I want to live someplace cool where there's lots to do. You head left. You can climb down the mountain's base. Give back Prince Peasley. Yeah. You again. You are the pair of think rats that swooped in with Bowser that I hate. Hmph. <laughs> I say to you, while I was busy with Peasley, you've been catching me. I have fury. But Cacletta has already begun smearing the butter of her next tasty plan over Bean Bean Castle. Since you two cannot make it in time, I say to you, that is better never than late. So here's your halting place. Waffle's dialogue is weird when you read it out loud. Since you will not be shattering the stone, I laugh at you trying to climb down this mountain. <laughs> Alright. Now I gotta get a hammer. This game is very charming and fun. I'm looking forward to playing the other ones, especially Partners in Time. I missed out on Partners in Time when it came out, because I didn't get a DS for like a few years into its life. We are said to be the descendants of the people who developed the Huhu civilization. This land is largely populated by Beanish peoples, but there are other races like ours. Go up there right now. Oops. Come on now. Oops. Don't separate them. Let me check over here for some goodies, chat. Oops. Yeah, see, if you do it too fast, you have to do it in a rhythm. Otherwise, you don't get anything. So you missed some things on the timer there. Hang on. I think there's a hidden block here. Nope. There are hidden blocks in this game. I almost, I'm almost certain of that. Ah, the waterfall's mist feels so good. My pores are partying. I wish we could stand here together forever. Mario's got mouthful mode in this game. We got one coin. Isn't that worth it? I forget how this works. Do you get multiple things by doing it several times in a row? Nature gear. Okay. No, it's still just coin. I don't remember how it goes. Beware of overhydration. If overdrinking symptoms appear, stomp on the victim's head. Spitting excess water on objects in this area is strictly prohibited. Uh, no matter what you hit me with, you can't knock me down, I think. I need a special move to deal with him much later in the game. Hang on, was there a way for me to fall forward? Nope, not there. Alright, time to climb back up. I got what I needed. can't climb the mountain until the bridge is fixed. The bridge is broken, so we're repairing it. Go talk to villagers for a while and come back. Sa Soldiers come to town. Blablanadon fails to return. The bridge suddenly breaks. I have a bad feeling about this. There could be something awful happening up on the mountain. The bridge is broken, so we're repairing it. Go talk to villagers. Okay, so yeah. These guys don't appear until you make the, the stone appear down below. That's why I went there first. Now, this is the last stone. Now we show the true spirit of the Hammerhead Brothers. The stone's our last shot. They certainly got tools using their head there. Ugh. Ugh. The stone just ain't gonna do it. We can't make hammers no more. Eh? What do you two think you're staring at? Huh? You want us to make you a hammer? 
Hey, I know these two dudes. They're Mario and Luigi from the Mushroom Kingdom. The Jump and Hammer Kings. Yeah, you're so right, Sledge. I remember these guys. Why are a couple celebrities like you bumming around this place looking for a hammer? Oh, hey, look, you don't have to tell us. We fully understand. Our lips are completely sealed. We'll just, we'll just make what you need. We're professionals, after all. That's right. Pros all the way. Thing is, in order to make hammers, we need hoo-hoo blocks from the mountaintop. But since Loblanodon suddenly stopped coming down here, we can't get up to the stump, get up to the summit. Hoo-hoo blocks are hard stones that can break anything. Or make hammers that can break anything. We want to climb the mountain to get more hoo-hoo blocks, but we can't jump well enough to do it. Huh? Oh yeah, what was I thinking? You guys are jumping pros, aren't you? So you're saying you could go to the top of the mountain and get us some hoo-hoo blocks. That would really hook us up. If you got some hoo-hoo blocks, we'll make you a special hammer. You scratch our backs, brothers. We'll scratch yours. Chat, what is that... What is that, like... Hang on. What is that, like, red and brown thing on the side there? What is that supposed to be? That... Obviously, there's a similar asset down here, but... What is it supposed to be up there? Hang on. I had a sneeze. Ugh. That bothers me how it sticks out like that. You see it? So weird. And everybody's house just has a big hole in it for some reason. I don't know over there. Thing for the fire? Okay, it's open. We're done fixing the bridge. I'm gonna climb the mountain, be careful. All right, chat, let's go. Let's call the bellows. Okay, this is area two. Let's climb to the top. These are the Bean Bean Kingdom's version of Goombas, chat. Beanies. Not the cool hats, though. All right, let's climb. These guys are dying fast. Yeah. I like how you can see the total experience every time. It's good. Let's stomp some beanies, chat, and get to work. Wonderful. Little bean heads. I don't think they ever made merchandise of any Bean Bean Kingdom residents. Oh, I missed. Okay. Doesn't matter now. I'll die like that. This is where you gotta learn to start puzzling, chat. Puzzling in combat. Uhu Mountain Trail. Turn that off there. There we go. Honey, what time? What does that mean, Mina? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Yeah! Waffle does need merch, like. Let me see. Hang on. Okay, that's fine. Just want to get that. Oh, hi, Vampy. Welcome. You missed the one hour of technical difficulties. I'm streaming this off my Wii U now. Because that was my only solution. I paid a whole $9.19 to buy this on Wii U Virtual Console. Just for you, chat. I hope you appreciate my sacrifice. I'm going to starve because of this setback. More damage for that guy. There we go. Sacrifice. Comes out to weird prices for me because I'm Canadian. We're gonna bean up all the enemies because we want their beans and we want their EXP. Eventually, you get access to a cafe where you can, um, like, use your beans to make, like, these stat boosting drinks. There we go. Alright. Yeah, 
easy. I'm gonna get started on him. The beanie will die in a moment from, like, counterattack damage. Oh, not quite. I didn't get a first strike, did I? Experience is already being a big thing. There's beans buried in spots like this, but I need a, a field move that I don't get until much later. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think I'm doing pretty good. My muscle memory for all these moves and stuff is pretty nice. <clears throat> Whirlwind warning. If you have faith in your spin, step into the wind. Excellent. I'm already having a blast today. Nothing I can get down there, was there? I don't think so. Oh, this is the Haniwa? Those things. Also, the weird statue. I I call this a bull statue as a kid, but it's not quite a bull, is it? Also, the it's like... Chat, what does that look like to you? To me, it always looked like, like, a ro like the top of a rotisserie chicken. Like, is that not what it is? <laughs> it's a dragon? Oh, no, you talked about the bull thing. Hands cusp together? It's two hands? I don't see two hands. It to me it looks like a like a head of like a of like a turkey or chicken. <laughs> I can't be the only one that sees that. Hang on. That's just the bean there. Who mountain watering hole. See the hands? Can't unsee the roast chicken. <laughs> yeah, people can see it now. That's what I would al always saw it as. Alright. Beware of overhydration. We just read this. Hmm. I always thought, like... So yeah, this is a statue, right? But it looks like those eyes have life in them, so I thought I was always just spitting on a random dude and killing him as a kid. Thank you, GBA Graphics. And now that spits out that. Chicken water. Okay. Let's make a save, I guess. Although I don't expect the Wii U version here to crash. Down my drink here. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, I know it's a honey one now, but it's still funny. Alright. Chat, I'm wondering, what what's considered the hardest Mario and Luigi game? I don't really have a gauge for difficulties for these. Like, as a, as a dumb kid, of course I'm going to struggle with it, but... I think I'll be okay with this one as an adult. There we go. Okay. Dream Team Hard Mode. There's a hard mode for Dream Team? Okay. Like, I have all of them. I have all the 3DS ones on my shelf, but I just never got around to playing them. There we go. Isn't Dream Team the only one with the hard mode? I'm not sure. I've only played this one, the GBA one, or er, yeah, the GBA one here, and Bowser's Inside Story original. Level 6. I have the Bowser's Inside Story remake, but it always seemed weird to me how they chose to remake that one, because I really don't see what they could have done with it aside from, like, update the graphics to the 3DS art style and uh, remix the, the music. I, I can't imagine they did much else with it. Anyways, chat, what should I go for? Last time I got the three in stash, so is it time to do attack again? Yeah, I'm feeling attack. Let's go. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, they added a whole new mode. Oh yeah, there's like the, the side story thing, like Bowser's Minions and Bowser Jr., whatever the heck it is. But I'll, I'll play it eventually. For now, let's play from the uh, beginning with the originals. Alright. I'm not gonna bother with my, using my brother's points on these guys, I don't need to. 
Should I go for an attack buff with Luigi? Maybe next level after. Oops, after the coming here. Okay. Last time I went for speed and I got low. What should I go for now? Does it look fine for attack? I'm gonna go for it. Oh, shit! I saw the three. It was a good roll, too, because there was, um... There was threes in there. Luigi's got Luigi is officially an honorary Smeargle on this channel now. Poor green guy. Poor green 12. One day. Even the game won't let Luigi's attack stat be higher than Mario's. Oh, right. Gotta finish this one, too. Oh, okay. Well, the joke is, one of my Smeargles is called Green12, and he keeps getting, like, ones and zeros for his attack level-up stats. And the joke is, everyone in Mario Luigi calls Luigi Green Guy, so I keep calling Luigi Green12 now. That's the funny. That's the funny pun. There you go. Let me try the advanced option with this. Start with A, right? There we go. I'm not sure what that really does differently. Let's do this. Well, when you level up, you have a chance to roll for a bonus stat. And that's what that little reel is between levels. And... The less, the less often a stat is chosen, the higher the possible numbers on the bonus reel can be. So that's why, like, if I get a bad roll, I have to, like, wait a few levels to try it again, because otherwise it'll just be ones and zeros. Try advanced again. My muscle memory went to the correct one, so... Doesn't matter. Press B for some reason. Okay. Lots of experience here I'm getting. And yeah, I gotta go over here. Now that I've killed those enemies. Because if the enemies bump into Mario while he's filled with water, they'll just like... He'll spit it all out and you'll go into battle. Hmm. Alright, let's go. All of them are set up, so let's climb. It always looks like you just don't have enough space to make it, but you do. And now we can do that. I genuinely don't see the two hands on that, like, thing. Hang on. No hidden block there. There we go. I'm gonna just kill one of these guys with this. Oh. My brain turned off, and I I scratched myself, and I got hit there. Well, that was a bad turn, but it's whatever. I still killed him, so who cares? <laughs> My brain was, like, thinking about advanced command inputs when I really should not have been... I can do these properly. There you go. He messed up, everybody. Point and laugh. I didn't get that block there, but it's fine. Just generic items. Now we can move on. Let's go kill the enemy down there because we can. Bounce. There we go. Should probably stop using Brother's Attacks now. There's a Lucky. Bot right now is an evil witch stole Princess Peach's voice and fled to the Bean Bean Kingdom. So I'm going to the Bean Bean Kingdom to retrieve Princess Peach's voice. Bumped and then get jumped. Okay, regular attacks now. 
I forget, chat, do level ups in this game fully restore your HP and points? I didn't, like, pay attention if that happens or not. I think they did. Get some coins only after a boss? Okay. I think the remake adds, like, a health block to the save feature or something. I don't know. Alright, we're already at the mid-boss. Alright. Okay. I don't want to spend all my syrup here, but it's fine. No, I gotta go up from there. That's right. But, it's fine. Ah, travelers! I'm Huhurus, an ancient weapon of the Huhu civilization. Beyond this point, the path grows even crueler. You must prove yourselves up to the challenge. Dare you try this challenge? You must start now, and you must catch ten Huhu spirits within 30 seconds. Do not fall off the ledges, or you will immediately fail. I don't remember how RNG dependent this is. I think it's just completely random what side they can be on. Okay, this is uh, annoying. None that are right next to me. There even can be any next to you. Um. Okay, finally. Oh no. <laughs> Did you see that? That was literally one millisecond left. That was some terrible RNG too, wasn't it? Like, I was going as fast as possible. Damn. That's a moment right there. I couldn't even believe I made that. You must defeat me as your next challenge. The minigame is known to give spawns that make it legitimately impossible. Oh, good to know. I don't remember that. Let's begin. Alright. Let's fight chat. Get your bean jams ready. Alright. No need to advance, just do the old basic bread and butter combos for him. Luigi's now, huh? Alright, I'll put the syrup just on Mario. Luigi can just take out the pillars. He's gonna move, so I'll just get rid of it now. Isn't, like... I believe this fight has a chance of soft-locking, right? If a certain action happens on a certain frame. I remember, like, the... the I think it was the Super Mario Broth account tweeted about it. I don't quite remember the details of it, though. Oh, he was one attack away from death. Damn. Damn! I'm doing better than I thought. Danny Dab on that friend. Alright, good gains, chat. What should I go for now? Brother's points, maybe? Or should I save it and go for... Wait for it to build up more. I'm gonna go defense this one just to let the other ones build up. Come on, come on, come on. No, <laughs> chat! Come on! <laughs> so unfair. You passed the test, too. Now you must face the test of reaching the summit. Chat, I've gotten so many ones, it's unfair. Like, you see all the twos and threes. Like, statistically, this is just some shit luck for me, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, whatever. Alright. Hey, thanks for stopping there. One whole year. Sounds good. 
think you have to exit, enter that from, oh, never mind. This opens up. What am I saying? That's how you get the stuff. All right. Glad everyone's having a wholesome day. My day definitely got better after I decided to just bite the bullet and spend the extra time setting this up on Wii U. I was very close to just switching and doing and not playing this today, but I'm kind of glad we kind of pushed through that. It's been fun. Okay. Yeah, the game is extremely beatable and even if you get bad bonus rolls, but the, the point is I could have gotten a plus three instead of a plus one, and that feels stupid bad. Oh, there's the uh, dinosaur from Mario World. So, fun fact about this enemy. Um, in his current form, it's impossible to dodge him. You have to attack him to make, make him smaller. You have to at least hit him once, otherwise it's impossible to dodge or counterattack or dodge anything. There's Luigi. Okay, what do we go, chat? What do we go? Found the tweet. It says, Mario may enter a thinking animation during at any point in the battle. If this happens at a specific point in the Huhuris battle, the game will consider it to be nobody's turn, and Mario, Luigi, and Huhuris will simply stare at each other forever. So if you activate the advance, uh, the, like unlock the advance command during that battle, it's possible that it could soft lock the battle then. Game kind of loud? You sure? Doesn't seem like that to me. Thank you for subbing there. Uh, Tim? <clears throat> Appreciate it there. I'm just coughing with, uh... Okay, what should I go for? Stash again? Whatever, I'm going for it. There we go. Doesn't seem so bad. Well, just in case, I'll lower it slightly. There's a plus three, finally. Wish I got it for something that wasn't stashed, though, but we'll take those. We'll take that. Alright. Ooh, nice. Ooh, never mind, chat. The stash is going good. Oops, I don't know my dodge ain't, though. Yeah, my dodge is just thrown off there. Whatever. I don't care. You think I care, chat? Why would I care? All right. Honeywa friends are there. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> I should have hit that first. All right. So luckily I didn't get softlocked, but I very likely could have gotten the advance command to happen during that battle. It's a good thing I didn't. Actually, before I do that, let me get the items that are over here, right? Oh no, that's the way over there. I don't need to do that yet. Oh, I missed it. Just barely. Okay. Well, I got the syrup. That's all that matters. Ah, darn it. I tried to be fancy again. What happened? What do I get for it? <sighs> I had it the first time. You saw me do it. But alright then, fine. I'll take the walk of shame and do it for real. There we go. Happy? Some weird depth perception here, yeah. Mario would just go splat falling down like that. Um, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. You're not supposed to fall down like that. My brain was thinking of a different room this whole time. Let me just do it again. I'm supposed to walk to the right. What am I thinking? Everybody go. Yeah, this is what you're supposed to. I don't know why I was doing it the other way. I was thinking of a completely different room that I did earlier, where I was supposed to just drop down. That's not what you do. All right. Yeah. Speed run over. Right. All right. We're not quite there yet. Let's take out the enemies. All right. Now I don't gotta worry about impossible counterattacks. All 
right. I got him. Oops. Oh, I thought for sure that one would be dead. 404, level up not found. The enemies are here in case you fall down and have to fight them, but I'm fighting them anyway because that's what we do. Ooh, lucky. Luigi doing pitiful amounts of damage. If only he got more than a plus one earlier. One up mushroom. Nice. I don't think the Rexes can ever regrow, no, once they're attacked. There we go. Wonderful. All right, more rooms here. No enemies. Luigi's just butt, I guess. Luigi's not a butt. He's trying his best. Luck is just not on his side. All right. Ooh. That one was just a little bit late. All right. I'm just going to finish off these chunks. It doesn't feel like Luigi's attack stat is that much lower either, and I'm doing like half damage with Luigi. I think I got a plus three with Mario at one point for attack, didn't I? Summon ahead. Beware of excessive, whir excessive whirlwind spinning. Some enemies to fight first. Mm. Ooh, there's your lucky stat. Look at us go. All right. Oh, look at that. I like how you can see, um, you can see Peach's castle in the background. You, you see that? It's a detail it's kind of hard to see on, like, original GBA screen. But I like that. Very cute detail. Alright, here's the summit. Let's go. Alright, next boss time. Perfect. How far are we in? Damn. Almost er, or an hour, over an hour and a half. Here's a telescope. We can see Bean Bean Castle from here. We can look at some places that we'll come across later in our adventure. All right, let's make a. Actually, first, what's my attack? What's my health looking like? Yeah, look, I got 37 mushrooms. I'm just gonna use one on Luigi there. Let's do that. All right. Now, was there anything up here again, aside from just beans? I don't think so. I still see Peach's castle. Just double checking for extra items. What are you kicking that for? That's a really rare stone. It's called a hoo-hoo block. And I'll tell you, anyone who tries to kick a hoo-hoo block down the mountain is a thief in my book. Huh? My name? All right. I'm called, uh, Blah Blah Nadon. Is that? Town's folks are all worried about me? Really? But I didn't mean to make them worry. See, what happened is this. I saw Prince Peasley and followed him up here. Then I saw this huge egghead appeared. I was shocked. I was speechless, which is rare. So anyway, I've just been here keeping this poor egg warm ever since. Yep, that's the deal. I think something will hatch out of it pretty soon. That's what happens with eggs. That doesn't look like an egg to me. Oh, it's here. It's time. Oh, wow. It's about to hatch. I can't take the suspense. Ooh, gua. that. Oh, well, that's a shock. Talk about one crazy egg. You 
got sent all the way back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Kuhua. Alright, let's get him. Okay, I gotta time that a little better. I think it's like... His attack is based on... Yeah, he's short now, so now the attack won't be as, like, uh, difficult to dodge. Drago Ho Ho, that's his name. See what I mean? I guess I didn't do enough damage at the start. No reason for me to not dump, uh, jump with both characters there. I'm gonna attack him with Mario. Oh, I killed him. Damn, chat, I am cleaning up. I am better at this game than young me remembers. <laughs> well, then I remember young me being... All right, chat, what the hell should I go for? Brothers points, is that what I did last time? I see lots of twos and threes, I'm going for it. Yeah, that's what I want to see. That's an in that's a whole extra attack right there. Yeah, you're supposed to break that rock because he jumps on the rock, and he shoots that attack at close range, so it's really hard to dodge. But uh, I guess my damage output was uh, too good. Too good. Can't be stopped. Well, damn. Good uh, defense game there, Luigi. What should we go for, chat? Maybe speed again? Stash? HP? Maybe brother's points for you. Maybe a time for attack again? I'm gonna go for it. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Cheers to your mustaches. This is incredibly dazzling man is none other, none other than Prince Beasley. What happened to you? <laughs> well, I suppose you could call it a bit of an accident. As I was investigating events throughout the country for this top secret mission I'm on, I suddenly encountered Cacletta and her vile underling, Waffle, here on this mountain. But by the time I realized who the fiends were, it was too late. They transformed me into that and shut me inside the egg. Is that so? Princess Peach's voice has been stolen? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about Princess Peach. I'm quite sure she'll be fine. At any rate, we should chase after Cacletta. I want you to visit Queen Bean and Bean Bean Castle once you climb down the mountain. Maybe that Cacletta's next target is in Bean Bean Castle. I'd bet my life on it. <laughs> Here's a gift from me. Autographed, of course. Yes, I think a rose matches your green perfectly. You show that rose at Bean Bean Castle, they'll permit you to enter. And with that, I must get back to my mission. May we meet again? There they go. How do you sign a rose? Very carefully. With a very, like, tiny pen. Boy, did you two arrive at exactly the right time. Just now, a hoo-hoo block fell down the waterfall. Check it out. We'll use it to make you the ultimate hammer. He's bopping. You're chopping. Hoo-hoo-hoo, man! Feels so great to be making hammers again after such a long break. In fact, it feels so darn great we went ahead and made you two, you guys, two hammers. With that craftsmanship. Pow! Now you're playing with power. Yeah, you got that right. These bad boys are all now yours. You got hammers. You can use the solo hammer action. Guess we ought to teach you guys how to properly use hammers, huh? First, use the R button to select your hammer icon. Then press the A button to whack stuff. That's it. 
But uh, right now, only the guy in front can use a hammer. So the action the guy in front does with the hammer, or A button, is the, sol is the solo action. The action the guy in the back does is the brother's action. It's the most basic of all basics, remember it. Try whacking all kinds of stuff with those hammers. One, one manly whack breaks the hardest rocks. No, you ought to break that hammer in by smashing the rock in the next room. Luigi can hit Mario, but that makes Mario annoyed. Mario just can't do a period. But Luigi can do it for no reason. We got a nut chat. A fun little game, yeah. Now, is this the right way? Yes, it is. Alright, got everything we need. Now we can move on. Nuts. statue activating. Maybe it was just the room? Hang on. Now I can hit Luigi. Wait. I think the reason it wouldn't let me hit Luigi in that room is because the move you're supposed to get later by hitting Luigi with the hammer sends him underground, and I don't think it works in a room like that, so that's why. So now what we want to do... Yeah, we can shoot short blasts like that. Am I doing that? Oops, let me refresh that. Let's get some coins, chat. Beep, 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 and we got it. Mysterious minecarts, destination. Hoo hoo mountain base capacity, one per cart. Over here first. Down here gives nothing else right now, just items. I can't move on that way. With all these extra icons, it's easy to just tap L and R at the same time to um, refresh it back to standard jump action. Hoo hoo mountain descent. Be nice to Luigi. Luigi is a friend. Both the Mario brothers are friends. Puppy! Look at that chat. That's a bean puppy. Have you ever seen a bean puppy before? Now you have. Whoa there! Hearts, it's been a Goomba's age since we had any strangers in these parts. Now listen, fellas, if you want to ride them rusty old carts, I won't go a-stopping you. But I'd advise watching out for trouble. Yep, no one knows where them rails lead. Still, I'll tell you something. You might just be able to find jewels by jumping a bit in there. While you're hopping for loot, watch out. You spot danger, just shine your light at it. Oh, mercy, there I go again. Always boring folks to tears with stuff like this. So um, tell me, boys. Can not ride the carts? Let's go. Bean puppy. All right. Now we gotta do another mini game just to move on. Get a battery. Get a gem. I think I need to have at least 10 gems to move on. Perfect. 
clear. Look at me go. Ah, why, howdy again. Well, fellas, this spot marks the last stop on the long, strange railroad ride of my life. But I reckon your adventure's just begun. Get to it, boys. Perfection. The Teddies agree. We have a perfect adventure going on. Just checking. Things working. All right. 415 coins. Look at us go. Smash them all because we can. Wait up. We forgot to mention one thing. We never taught you how to use your hammers in battle. Ready to learn? Yeah, sure. Then we'll explain it in battle. So, to whack with the hammer. Mario uses the A button, and Luigi uses the B button. Talking don't do it justice, though. Let me explain by example. First, let's do some solo attacks using hammers. Any? Alright. Wait a sec. Press the A button right here. Ooh, man, that's smarts. But I'm a hammerhead, brother, so I'll be fine. No big deal. Press the B button when the hammer shakes. When it shakes, you got it? And, uh, old green guy, there should be... Should press the B button when his hammer shakes. So uh, next we gotta learn how to defend with the hammer. Now, press and hold B. When you release the button now... No, that's too long. You gotta release the button before the hammer starts to shake or the whole deal falls apart. Do it again, man. Youch, that'll leave a mark. You can't really practice the timing in this tutorial because of all the text. So anyway, you get the idea. Wanna try again? No thanks. Okay, so to review. For hammer attacks, choose your hammer and wait till it shakes, then press the button. Bonk, perfect hammer attack. On defense, hold it behind you and release it before it shakes. Bonk, perfect hammer defense. Good luck and practice up. Did you get all that? You better have. You better look alive with those things. There are a lot of monsters that your jump won't do diddly to. You gotta learn some new tricks if you want to get by them. I'm sure you guys will be able to take care of business. If you can't, you're gonna have to give us those hammers back. Hey, we're going back so we can ride the cart again. Yeah, cart rides are thrilling and filled with suspenders. You nitwit. It's filled with suspense. Suspense! Oops, well, excuse me. Alright, time to get to work. Can't break that block. Syrup. Mushroom. Oops. Well, lost a few coins out of that deal, but it's whatever. Alrighty then. And that's just the way you fall down, so you can ride the carts again. We saw the other side of that. That's a boo statue. Can't do anything with that. Here we are. We finally reached the Bean Bean Fields chat. Oh, chat, did that not look like it hit him? What was that? That one went right through his head. Okay. Okay, sure. Sure. Okay. The boo sounded like Miltank. I kind of get what you mean. There you go. Let's rough them up. Plus four. These guys aren't really worth taking out, aside from just coins and stuff. They're kind of annoying. Uhu Mountain, Bean Bean, Castle Town. Let's take out this guy. Okay, that one hit. I'm gonna take you out because you're annoying. Wow. 
Clearly, I forgot how long he takes to do that. Let's jump on him. 16. That's a little more worth it. There's another one there. Alright, there we go. Uh, Luigi can kill that, that guy over there. There we go. Not used to my hammer counters yet. Okay, that one was certainly a fight worth it. Um, I really should use a mushroom on Mario. Oh, damn, his max HP is 19 still. That's bad. You know what? I'll take my- I'll fight him. <sighs> Darn it. I'm, do I'm still doing it way too early, even though it looks like the hammer is hitting him. It's a little frustrating, but whatever. Bean Bean Castle Town, Chateau de Chuckle Huck. That was some terrible French there. But don't worry, I'm Canadian, so that's just what we do. I remember this part actually scared me when I got here as a kid. I was like, oh my god, are these people dead? The town was attacked. The horror. Heckle and the odd, ugly, helmet-wearing one. They lay waste to the town. It was so sudden, there wasn't anything we could do. Apparently, this is the only store that's going to stay open with the town in such a bad state. Welcome to my temporary item shop. Sorry about the mess. With the town in this state, I'm only staying open as long as customers keep open. Or keep coming. So what do you want? My, must, my current stash gives me 18% off. Isn't that nice? You don't need to buy mushrooms and syrup, so what do you want? Come back anytime. This is our ordinarily a hip and cool fashion house, you know? But for the time being, I'm leasing the place out to her. The town and the state will have to help each other best we can. So I can't buy clothes, or like, which is equipment in this game. I can't get badges, anything yet. It said the Bean Star is hidden in Bean Bean Castle. What if, my gosh, what if Cacletta hopes to get her hands on the Bean Star? No. No! Bean Bean Castle. Cacklena went toward the castle after attacking the town. Queen Bean may be in danger. Can't explore much of the town because it's just being destroyed right now. Oof. Hoping for this. Hoping, uh, yeah. The tablet almost fell off my lap here. Halt! You there, halt! You can't just waltz on in here. The town has been attacked, which means the castle could be attacked at any moment. Lady Lima has instructed us to not allow anyone to enter the castle. Anyone whatsoever. Having said that, if you still wish to enter, you must explain your names and your motives. What? You are the world-famous Mario? What? And you are the legendary Luigi? Uh, Luigi who? Shh, I have no idea. If you really are the Superstar Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom, then prove it. Mm -hmm. That jump. No mistake in it. This guy really is Mario? Shh, I can't be certain. Anyway, what business would the famous Mario and uh, Louis, uh, the other guy have in this castle? Hmm. Ah, hoo hoo. Huh? Ooh. I see. Gotcha. What do they want? No clue. They don't speak Italian, apparently. Enough. Regardless of all that nonsense, you may not enter. Now be gone. Prince Peasley's Rose! Are you friends of the prince? Oh, yeah. 
Mm, listen, I think maybe we ought to let these guys inside. Mm, okay, taking into account that rose in your wacky story, we can allow you to enter. That was one wacky story. Woo. All right. And now we're in Bean Bean Castle. That face was a big door. Can't really tell it's a door. And here's a person just, like, dying. Well, Master Mario and Master Luigi. I am Lady Lima, highest of the ladies at court. The gatekeepers told me of you. Are you indeed the Mario and Luigi of fame? The superstars? Yes, and is that a collapsed body? Perhaps we should help that person. Yes, I can't deny that such jumping is the hallmark of the Mario and Luigi of legend. Pardon me. What are you trying to tell me? Oh, do speak up. Oh, such ruckus. Speak in softer voices. Now hear me. As you saw, the town is in ruins and the castle's under strict guard. At a time like this, I cannot allow a suspicious pair such as you to meet the queen. As the queen's longest-serving lady at court, I must act in the interest of her royal safety. Hear my words. If you two are indeed the true Mario Brothers, you must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. If you are able to completely fix it, you may meet the Queen Bean. Now then, show me the work, e uh, work ethic of the Superstar Mario Brothers. Rare footage of Mario and Luigi plumbing. Let's go, chat. The first time they actually do some plumbing, I know! Amazing. Saving again, because why not? Who knows what could go wrong? Bop. Here we got level 2 Ninja Turtle. I gotta get Mario's HP up. Oops. That should be, like, my next, like, uh, bonus roll for Mario. Although, as we've been seeing, even though I'm getting plus ones, I'm pr doing pretty damn... Come on. I'm doing pretty damn good with beating the, uh... Be yeah, beating the bosses. Oh, there's the lucky I want to see. Can't jump on spiky enemies. You gotta hammer them. Plus 30. Oops. Did Mario Brothers Arcade count as plumbing? I'd say it could. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not quite enough to kill you. There it is. Let's bop all the enemies. Oh, there's a lucky. Nice. This should kill him then. Easiest counter in the world, apparently. Lucky. Perfect. Bean Bean Castle Sewers Maintenance Manual Part 1. Whack the stoppers in areas that leak to plug any and all holes. Way ahead of you, game. Way ahead of you. No blocks there. Darn it. I missed my jump on him, though. This is fine. Immediate start counterattack. Good enough. Alright, let's see some HP, Mario. Plus one, normally. Alright, yeah, we gotta get you some more of that. Okay, two's good. Two's good. That was some depth perception moment right there. Let's focus on you. Because these guys are annoying. I'm gonna get rid of them first. Okay. 
He's blocked and dead. Nope, not quite. This should kill him then. Alright, now what does Luigi need? Uh, no stash upgrade for him. I'm gonna go for it. Ah, oh, damn, it was on the three. I already, I already did power last time. Within the last two levels, I mean. I'm just gonna get rid of you, because your attack takes too long. Luckily, these are the easiest hammer ca counter in the world. Not silly like that other one where it kind of just your hammer goes through him if you're doing the wrong way. And as soon as I say that, he does a different thing. <laughs> a different attack just to make me jinx myself. 42. Plenty more enemies to kill and we're doing just fine. Oh, damn. Well, whatever, Mario's hit now. Easy, chat, easy. There's the lucky, damn. Would that be on a higher health enemy? Oh, never mind, there we go, I got it. And I got greedy again. The same thing happened. He paused for a second, so like my startup was like my downfall. Okay, I'm just gonna use a mushroom on... I got 42 mushrooms, so I think... Do you actually cap out at 99? I don't remember. Oops, didn't quite get it. Grabbing the extra experience, because I feel like I want to steamroll some enemies, chat. Even though I'm getting plus ones, I'm, st I'm still doing a good job. I'm genuinely surprised how fast I, um... How fast... Or that. How fast I beat the uh, dragon on top the uh, on top the mountain. That was ridiculously fast. There we go. Just goes to show what being an adult that actually knows how to play video games now does for you. Are games getting easier, or are we just getting better? Oh, nice. I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting a lot of lucky hits. That's good. Whatever. I should really stop feeling bad about the bonus. Just think of it, it's better than not having anything at all, so. Experience is really going far for me now. Hang on, did I? There's the last one. I thought I hit that. Perfect. When I was young, I'd always avoid battles against, like, uh, the spiky shell guys because they were annoying to fight, but now it's like, oh, let's just sweep them and get the extra EXP, because why the hell not? Okay, that one. I'm gonna, like, pause for a second in case they do that second attack where, like, the instant startup, like, guarantees I'll get hit. Excellent. The Wii U gamepad is honestly a pretty comfortable controller. Like, I don't hate it at all. I think this infinitely spawns enemies, does it? For enemies it attacks, it doesn't matter. I'm used, I'm used to just pressing both buttons at the same time for a counter. It doesn't matter at all. Fun to power yourself up and steamroll bosses, though. I like that feeling. There we go. Alright. Um... No, I roll. I got a 2 in HP last level, so I leveled up already. Uh, what should I go for? More speed or defense this time? I haven't done defense in a while for Mario, so why the hell not? Okay, we'll take it. Why not? 
around and fix my seat here. Hmm, I think now is a good idea to do POW for Luigi. Oh, chat, there was a four there. Damn it. Okay. I saw the four. Oops. It would have been nice to get that, but oh well. What can you do? Two's still good. Really, I should just be thinking of both the bonus reel as, like, a bonus. Like, I'm doing absolutely fine, even despite my bad luck with heavy quotation marks. Oops, wrong thing. Almost jumped on him. There we go, lucky. Remember when I got to the start of Hoo Hoo Mountain, I think I had, like, 300 experience? Oops. Now I got over a thousand. Doing pretty good. Like I said, I've done the low experience run of this game before. So it's not too surprising I'm doing alright. Let's get rid of you. Okay, counterattack damage builds up. Doesn't matter which one I attack there. Ooh, nice. Luck is doing pretty good for me today. Now then, uh... That's the one that summons the spinnies. Did I do the thing? Hang on. Where was it again? Okay, that wasn't it, but, uh... Hang on. I'm losing my mind. Where was it, chat? Oh, there's a thing down here, right? That's where I came from, right? No. Right, right, you come from there, and then you go to the right side. My bad. I had it backwards. I thought this is where I came from. That's why I was confused for a moment. Password, so. Uh, okay. And this one, that one, this one, that one. Okay, there it is. Turn the water on, then I go activate it down there. Mm. Come on, Mario Brothers, I believe you can do it. Just believe in yourselves. I'm sure Teddy Ursa believes in them too, chat. Smeargle probably does, because he can relate to Luigi right now. We done already? Damn, that was fast. It's weird. I remember these areas being so much longer as a kid, but again, it's probably because I haven't like really played this since like maybe my teens was the last time. Oh, thank the stars, you've saved me, you heroic souls. Could you be the Mario Brothers from the Mushroom Kingdom? What are the Mario Brothers doing in a place like this? What? You claim that I dropped the pair of you down here, and then I told you to fix the plumbing? Most perplexing. Why, we were attacked by Cacleta and her fiends and have been stuck here ever since. Hmm, perhaps the Lady Lima you encountered was... <laughs> Foolish Mario Brothers, you've completely and pathetically fallen into my trap. Repairing the plumbing is the key to disabling the Beanstar security system. Cacleta, it is the hurrying time. We must take the Beanstar and fastly run away from this place. <laughs> at last, at long last, I have in my possession both the Beanstar and, Pri and Princess Peach's voice. That thing that can grant all desires, the Beanstar. 
We have always remained at this castle, acting as guardians, protecting the Beanstar and keeping it out of evil hands. There's no doubt about it. Cacletta must be after the Beanstar. Oh, no! Oh, heroic Mario, Mario Brothers, quickly now, you must go to the Beanstar. Go! You mustn't- you must not let the Beanstar fall into the hands of evil. Quickly, quickly, do not dawdle. Quickly. There's no doubt about it, Cacletta must be after the Beanstar. Hang on, let's check in here, though. Free stuff. Is Queen Bean safe? so frightened at the thought of Cacklana being in here that I refuse to leave. Can't make me. Let's just get the coins. Take the syrup. I forget what level you are by the end of a casual run. Isn't it like 40? I want to say. Around that, maybe? Forty-ish. All right. All right. The end of the sewers. Oh, we're too late. The Bean Star. <laughs> the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice are already mine. Once we awaken the Bean Star with Princess Peach's voice, this world will be Cacletta's snack cake. Say, Mario boys, you haven't bothered to pay a visit to your host, Queen Bean. I thought you had better manners, wouldn't you agree, Queen Bean? Roo hoo hoo. Perhaps the three of you can sit down over tea to discuss the finer points of foreign policy. Uh oh. Here she comes. Let's not die. That one you have to use double inputs for. Always weird because of how high up her arms are for that. No! Ugh. I accidentally, um, <laughs> picked her head. So that was a waste of an attack, of course. I tapped left, but I did it way too early, apparently. Okay. Now it's beat her ass here. Watch out for beans, chat! If I land on the beans, it's some it becomes a beanie and joins the battle, so I have to jump over them. Okay, 21's not bad for that. I don't think killing the beanies in this fight gives extra experience. Wouldn't be really worth its extra time and effort, honestly. Yeah, I know, her shockwave attack also kills any beanies when they join the battle, too. Just jump right over them. She hasn't, like, regained her arms yet. Am I gonna sweep this, too? What? What? Oh, I missed that, I guess. It's so weird because her arms are so high up that you have to, like, press the A button at the end very, like, like, immediately. Okay. Give me some syrup. First time you played this boss, you didn't realize you could hit the arm, so you just hit her head with the hammer over and over. Oh, that sounds painful. Okay. I should just refresh the syrup before I start, um... Because she's just going to regrow the arm again. Okay. Oh, it hit me. Only did three, though. Damn. Yeah, I did it too early. It's fine. She's, like, one of the few enemies in the games where, because, like, the sprite's so high, it really throws off your, like, sense of timing.
She's just vomiting beans. Oh, I hit one. Again, advanced splash. Not that that's the time for that. Oh, I killed her. All right. <laughs> oh, I have to. Yeah, I have to finish the beanie. Okay. Yeah, let me go, chat. Let me go. Oh no, Cacletta forced Queen Bean to eat a belly bletch worm. Belly bletch worm. That's what turned her into this. Our fair kingdom is doomed. Doomed! How will we ever return Queen Bean to normal? What's that, you say? The Mario Brothers will do something about it? What can you possibly mean? You speak the impossible. Why, there's no known way to spin out an ingested belly bletch. Blech? Bletch? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, except there is that one way, the last resort. It isn't pretty, though. She may be able to spit it up if she drank the legendary Chocola Reserve from Chucklehuck Woods. You'll go to Chucklehuck Woods? You'll find the Chocola Reserve? Well, if you're going to make such bold proclamations, I suppose I have no choice but to rely on you. Take this bean bean brooch and head to the southwest of the castle towards Chateau de Chucklehuck. If you find the Chocola Reserve hidden deep in Chucklehuck Woods, our queen may yet recover. You've got the Bean Bean brooch. Luigi just like booping. Take that Bean Bean brooch and head southwest from the castle. You only get to Chucklehuck Woods. If you find the Chocola Reserve hidden deep, our queen may re re yet recover. We don't have high expectations, but we'll be waiting nonetheless. Hmm. All right. Now we can leave. And now... No, the town is still destroyed, so I can't really buy equipment yet, can I? Mario, Luigi! Lady Lima has to ask that you also take this along with you. You got a bean badge! That thing is a badge. If you equip it, you'll be able to be a little stronger in battle. Different badges have different effects, so... For now, if you get a badge, make sure you equip it. To equip it, press select. To equip badges. Select this icon. Here you can see the gear and the badge you're equipped with. Okay, Mario, time to equip the badge it just gave you. Select this icon. This is where all the badges you have are shown. Normally you'd pick a badge. It's simple this time, since you only have one. Press A and you'll equip the badge. Now you're all set. Good luck and be careful. Oh, uh, sorry, Luigi, but if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. <laughs> Luigi just upset. Alright, bean badge should be given to, um... I can't unequip it, can I? No, there's no option to unequip it. That's weird. I want to put it on Luigi. Luigi's the one that needs more... that should have more brothers' points and pow. Also, chat, weird detail I'm just noticing. Why is Mario's hat, like, have a black M instead of a red M? Can I buy equipment now? The guy at the shop didn't let me before. I try. Oh, now he does, okay. The only ones who still worry about fashion despite the town's crisis are the real celebrities. I have to set prices that won't discredit this place as a high-class high boutique. So, uh, what do you want to do? Hot fashions. Flashy badges. Castle badge. Recommended for beginners. A badge for tourists. Let me see here. For Luigi, just gives POW. Gives... P-Badge is, is just way better for a few extra coins, really. Alright, so let's buy a P-Badge. There we go. Hot fashions, chat. Bean trousers. Let's see what we got here. 
Trendy Pants, popular in Hoo Hoo Village. Needs to get more defense and HP. Luigi's stuff. The blue jeans are way better, but hang on. I'm 31. So yeah, I definitely want to put this on Luigi then. It's expensive and does more. In the middle one, Mario should take that. There we go. Going shopping in the midst of a major crisis like this. You're so wonderful. So what do you gotta do? Hm, won't charge a look. Not that there's much to see. Now these are the type of people that really look at like uh, all this destruction be like, Oh no, the economy. We have to rebuild the town as soon as possible. All right. All right, chat. Uh, it's down there, I know, but what's over here? Anything right now? No, I can't use the sprout right at the moment. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh, hit Luigi. Going from the town music to here is hilarious. Yeah, it can be. All right, so now we have a major attack boost after doing the sewers and getting access to equipment and badges. It's kind of weird how long they wait before you let you do basic stuff like that, but whatever. As you can see, I'm much more buffed now. I remember getting lost in the Bean Bean overworld a lot when I was young. I couldn't remember where everything is, but now that I'm playing this game right now, I just know exactly where to go. Like, I, I don't even have to think about it. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chucklehuck Woods ecology. Wait, these guys, I couldn't really make out their outfits on a tiny screen before, but I think they kind of like have a butler outfit going on. The Bean Bean brooch, the mark of special guests of Bean Bean Castle. Very well then, we shall permit you to enter these woods. We hope you will enjoy a taste of the incredibly full-flavored Chocola Cola while you are here. All right. Actually hit Mario. All right, let's take out these chumps. Oops, I did not know the timing for him, clearly. All right, that's fine. Oh, damn. How did I not get that guy? Whatever. Joke's on them, I leveled up. She is a mushroom, though. There are so many mushrooms in this game. Just go ham with them. That's why you buy the defense upgrade right away. Tiny guys aren't worth it. Only 4 EXP from them. Alright, we made a chat. We're at Chucklehuck Woods. I am breezing through this game. What has it been? Two and a half hours? Nice. Well, two and a half hours if you uh, don't include that one hour tech dif difficulty. Brewing Chocola Cola, step one. The main ingredient of Chocola Cola is Chocola Fruit, which grows only in Chucklehuck Woods. Brewing Chocola Cola, step two. Place one Chocola Fruit in a barrel that's been filled to the brim with a savory syrup. Brewing Chocola Cola, step three. Tell funny jokes to the fruit until it laughs, releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Step four, bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of Chocola Cola, first generation chateau owner, Bubbles. Is this soda a, soda a joke to you, chat? Let's see if I can remember my way through the maze. Look at me go. There's a lot of invisible, like, unseen walls in this section. Now look at me, chat. I made it. It has to have been well over a decade since I ever, like, longer than that since I've done it. But damn, look at me go. Oh, boo, blast. Criminy. Famous shadow thief Popple has been caught in full sight. Oh, cripes, you think you're ready, do ya? Well, nobody's more ready than me, see? I'll show ya. Rookie? Rookie? Shake a leg. Yes, boss. 
Okay, rookie, it's your turn, see? I want you to squash those red and green drips right there. Yes, boss. Red and green. I feel like I know these two from somewhere. Weird. What? Rookie? You say you acquainted with these two palookas? Yeah, something about them feels real familiar. Makes me feel real mad. What you babbling, you? You two ugly mugs come here, came here for the same reason as us. You want the fabled Chocola Reserve. Boo. Boo, I say. You really think you could beat us to the punch? Well, open those ears, punks. I, Popple Shadow Thief, filcher of the world's riches. Bet you then I get the Chocola Reserve first. Rookie, go to it. You beat him up. Oh, you got me. You gotta kill Rookie first. You attack Popple. He, it, it, it makes an auto attack happen. And he throws hammers at you. Pop him. Okay, I got him. Oopsie, wrong one. The problem is Popple can throw a mushroom and heal. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Oh, that was spicy. Great work, great work, rookie. You just keep at, keep at it. See, can't talk today. Okay, that one can be easy to mess up the timing. Got him. Luckily, counterattack damage doesn't count. We're activating rookies like counterattack. I got heartburn. Ah, rookie! There he goes. Alright, now I'm safe to put whale on him. Oops. Too early. Ah, boo, I say. Now, I'll, I'll remember this. There he goes. Level 11. And no brother's points, but Fort Pal, that's good. I I honestly forget what the last few levels I even did was. Maybe go stash. There's four on that. Ah, oh, another two. Okay. I would have liked the four or three, but I'll whatever. Ooh, a natural three to Pow. That's good. Uh maybe more brothers points for Luigi. I see fours. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Yeah. Ugh. Hack. Rookie? You bloated idiot. Who took you in when you were dazed and lost in the mountain? Me, you worthless vermin. I'm so ashamed. Yeah, I don't care, see? We're fine as long as we get that Chocola Reserve. Let's not mess with these two knuckleheads. We'll scram and hurry on ahead, yeah. Here he goes. Okay, anything I can pick up in here? Come on now. Oops. Gosh darn it. Thought I had it set. There it is. That's how you go back. Now, was there anything on top? I don't quite remember, actually. I'm not gonna bother with it now that I think about it. Maybe there was something else I could access high up there. I think it was over there I should get. Hang on. All I did was go back where I came from for a moment. Aha, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Super nut. Look at that chat. The super nut. Ain't that something. Is there anything else extra I can get up there? Nope. There's nothing I can do over there right now. Um, isn't there supposed to be something in this room? I 
Where's my mind? Or is oh, there it is. Have I been saved? Rescued? Moi? Suit hello, hello. I'm the maitre of the of the chateau. Cork, that is me. And moi, I'm the petite brother of Cork. My name is Cask. It's okay, chat. I'm Canadian. I'm allowed to do bad French. We were stuffed in these barrels by two tres bizarre characters. Are you the ones who saved us? Oh, 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 to get straight to the point. The two attacked us, are after the chalk chocola reserves that lies deep in these woods. Ethus, you do, are after the chocola reserve as well. Ah, we, oui. mm, the problem is. Whether or not th that that legendary soda even truly exists? Why, even the two of us have never seen nor drank that famed drink, the Chocola Reserve. <laughs> Sorry to keep up here. Behind Chucklehuck Woods is the sanctuary no one can touch us. Getting there is not easy. <laughs> eh? What? We? Oui? What? <laughs> Can't talk. I'm like spitting out my damn lungs here. You can stomp in stomps on enemies. And Emma rocks the little beats to make paths, are we? Hmm. Perhaps we we'll get through the woods, but not with the moves alone. Cask, perhaps with that wonderful Emma. Hmm. We, oui. très bien, mon fiere. That's not how you say that. <laughs> I forget how to say it. Indeed, little old moi was thinking the exact same thing. Him, pardon moi. They are very polite beans. Yes, they are. That's there we go. After having a with one friend just a moment ago, we've decided <laughs> to thank you for helping us. We've decided to teach you two amateur uh, amateur techniques. How do you say B O U S in a French way again? I don't quite remember. You don't just say boost, right? That's not right. You just say it as vous? Okay, thank you. Like, yeah, you don't say the S in a lot of French words. I'm sorry, chat, but, you know, French doesn't just, like, come up on a day-to-day -day basis for me. <laughs> there are techniques that have been perfected and refined passed down here at Z's Chateau. If you master Z's, they should help you in your bon voyage in Z woods. Do you wish to try to master these ham ammo techniques? Yes. First, Monsieur Green, give me your ammo. Hmm, we, oui, I see. What's these hammer? First, press the L button and choose your ammo. Waiting. Hammer. Then press the button to swing. Et voila! That is the secret hammer technique. Swing the hammer eye and watch it plongs down with the ju- How do you say that? I don't know how, I'm not gonna pretend I know how. Of the woods. Would see something of something of the woods. There we go. Anyone hit with such a technique will become micro-sized. We, oui, tre, tre petit. Anyone Z-size would feel like a mouse if we go into tiny holes for micro-adventures. To, re to return to normal, just swing Z-hammer again in superb whack de moi. That's not how you say it. I don't know. Alas, go try it. I apologize to all viewers watching from France. There we go. Look, what am I doing? I didn't press L button enough. Incroyable! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like fumbling over it. To think you could produce the joy of the something of the woods on the first shot. Ah, perhaps you should try to put him back to normal. There we go. Excellent. Magnifique. Who could be genius? Hmm. Now, Zin, Monsieur Red, give me your ammo this time. So many Z's in French, apparently. Z's time. Press start to switch positions. Then press ZL button to select your hammer. 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 
Then press ZB button to swing. It's part of the dialogue. I gotta say so many Zs. Oh, sorry, right. It's Canadian French, chat. I forgot. You have to say it like Zedis. Zedis. Z-E. Ultimate Ammer Technique. That's how we Canadians say it, remember? <laughs> we call it Dragon Ball Z here as well, remember? Très bien, no? Crashing down on a gust of wind with the power of the earth. Whoever is struck by the hammer will be completely buried and hidden is in the earth. <laughs> I've got to, like, bite my tongue, I swear. Of course, in this state, moving with Z, control pad is not po is possible. One feels much like a mole. Why, Boo can even sneak under fences for micro-adventures. To come back above ground, just press Z A button. Allah? Allahs? Allies? Go try it? I don't know. We're almost done here. Bear with me. There we go. Ah, born the power of the earth crashes down in a burst of wind. That was perfect. Ah, we just press the A button to pop up out of the ground again. Fantastic! Now, it's time to put these new ammo techniques to the test. Use the techniques you learn to get two cola goblets in the next room. These two goblets I speak of are two of the Bean Bean Kingdom's greatest treasures. The sparkling glass is brilliant. It is the perfect reward for you who have gained these techniques. So, messieurs, procure these two goblets. Stop making me put these hounds. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Alright, now we can go through here and start getting beans as well from these. I want to collect these. Au revoir, beans. Can't go on metal. Mouse's living room. Take care not to bump your head on the low entryway. Steel flooring. Steel flooring is so hard you cannot go through it. Mole's living room. Tunnel beneath fences. Try not to get your clothes dirty. It's okay, chat. Like I said, I'm Canadian. It's literally in my blood to say French incorrectly. The only part I won't do is be rude to people. <laughs> That's the part of Canadian French I don't go with. There we go. You got the green goblet. Its brilliance glitters in your eyes. Please do not hit anything on the wall. What if I do? What are you gonna do? Oh, what am I doing? I had it backwards. Need Mario to run for that. Now I'm Tiny Mario. Look at me go. You got the red goblet. I almost just said Z Red Goblet, even though it doesn't say that. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Beauty sparkles in your eyes. There we go. No, oh, I'm, I'm joking, Tokus. Don't worry. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you got the red goblet and the green goblet. Monsieurs, you're amazing. Incroyable. <laughs> there is nothing less. <laughs> there is nothing left for us to teach you. You have mastered the ammo techniques perfectly. Well, messieurs, you may enter Chucklehuck Woods in search of the famous Chocola Cola Reserve. Uh, Chocola Reserve. Gosh, golly. That was quite a goblet do from Aj, indeed. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right. Tenny bats, pat, yeah, tenny pats, indeed. Don't worry. All right, let's go over here. Let me just pop this. Just boop it and bop it and go up here. I got quite a few icons to cycle through now. Is there nothing else I can pick up up here at the moment? I don't think so. Don't think there's anything there. Alright, now it's time to advance into the woods. Chucklehuck Woods. We are breezing through the game. Let's go. If I never have to say Z again today, it'll be great. Let's attack these. And 
That one didn't seem to care. Just focus. Oh! Oh, it ran. Damn it. Gold Bean, literally the first time. I think it's like the Amazing Daisy where it just gives lots of experience, right? Okay. 34 on that. Ain't that something. Okay, the spikes might be annoying to fight. Oh yeah, these map screens. This is a region map. Shows your current location, the location of save albums. You lose track of where you are, just check your map. Yeah. I feel like these were hard to, like, make out on the Game Boy Advance's, like, non-backlit screen, so I never really used them much. There we go. Yeah, I plan on playing more Mario oh, Luigi's. No. Oh, are these the ones that drop the badge? I don't quite remember. Well, Luigi's getting hit. Luckily, Luigi's defense is pretty great. Oops. My timing, not so much, though. I think the trick of killing the gold bean is like what? It has to be a counterattack that opens it up or something? I don't recall. For now, let's focus on you then. Well, it's breaking open. No gold bean. Wool beans and mushrooms. And here's the next world map thing open. I need to warp back to one to do the jump mini game to get more of. Am I losing my mind? I thought I was under the shadow before. I guess not. There we go. I gotta collect beans because you use them to make um stat boosting drinks once the, the town is repaired and the cafe opens. Plus, we can see all the EGAD scenes when I do that, too. Okay. Oops, I didn't actually intend to fight that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I also have a new Brothers attack, since I got those abilities. I should probably use them. Knockback Brothers. I believe this one was BBA. I'm gonna go for it. Oops, timing's off on that. I gotta get used to it again. Chopper Brothers. Okay. A, B. And then you mash. Okay, that's right. Knockback Brothers is BBA. I just timed it poorly. I'll use it on the next fight. Playtime. Yeah, the playtime is pretty a about pretty accurate for where actually uh, the recording time is. Have I stretched? I really should stretch. Yes, I should. Let me just do that right quick. Get some syrup. Ooh, stretch like a healthy bear. I haven't really been stretching this whole time. <laughs> Last time I technically stretched, I guess, was when I got up to- went upstairs to get the Wii U to actually stream this today. Okay. This we just do... Yes. Barrels reflect this somehow. Alright. And it'll 
opens that up. But hang on, what was the other thing over here? I didn't go over here yet. What was that? Oh, it's just this. Okay. No matter what you do, you can't knock me down. Should've went here first, but that's okay. Any beans to dig up here? Doesn't look like it. it. Looks like I'm getting through this game a lot faster than I expected to. I was thinking, like, damn, this may take me, like, a handful of streams because it's an RPG, but I'm moving so fast that, damn, I can really breeze through this, so not too bad. I don't recall Bowser's Inside Story being long, either. I wish this counted as, like, a instant, like, Splash Brothers, but nah. Bad timing on my part, okay. Now, do these guys count as spikes or not? No, they don't. Okay, good. Can't jump on these. Okay, let's try Knockback Brothers now. Oh no, is it, is it all B? Chat, am I losing my mind? No, no, no. What is, what is it? Hang on. B. B. A. Okay, I guess I just missed the A button at the end, but I could have sworn I did it perfectly that last time. Okay. Let's get the coins. I might backtrack a little bit for extra beans later, just so we can completely steamroll this. Oops. The only time you really want to have, like, excessive stats is probably towards the end, because there's, like, certain bosses that, like, they're, they essentially, like, you have to beat them within a certain amount of turns. There we go. Everybody who's played this game knows what I'm talking about. That's where you really want to make sure you do a lot of damage fast, but you can still low experience those fights. I'm absolutely positive. Okay. one. Don't need to kill every enemy, and those ones are- the spiky enemies get annoying as hell. Poems of Love, Volume 2, by Bubbles, original owner. A top barrel man, I spy new lands and visions. Green, B barrel man, L picks the barrel icon, B climbs on top. Let's take this guy out. No, I'm not a speedrunner. This, I've just played it a lot. Oops, when I was young, and I timed that poorly. I thought he was gonna go. <sighs> oh well. We damage, we take it. I'll eat a mushroom after the fight. This is what we buff defense for, mistakes. Ooh, lucky. And there's Luigi. Alright. What was the last one I did? I don't recall. Maybe level up speed for this one. Okay, I'll take the three. That's good. A lot of times there's a bunch of enemies that, like, um, Mario will outspeed, but Luigi won't. So it's fine. Looking for beans to dig up. Let me just eat a mushroom. You need one, too. There we go. Jeez. Ah, too early. Okay. The hammer ones, I always gotta, like, warm myself up for the timing. I'll get used to it and have it down in no time. That's fine, though. I'm kinda just spending the brothers' points to really just train for it, but it's not really needed. Okay, that was good. Better timing on that. Okay, let's just kill in the old-fashioned way. I seem to get more, way more damage off of Luigi's hammer. Okay, it's all in the timing. That's why I prefer to use jumps when I can, because the timing. And there's the I'm already leveling up. I didn't really use the advanced commands when I played them, though, because they're kind of unnecessary. What should I go for? Mario more HP? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to see. I'll take it. Can't complain. Uh, can I 
make that from here. No, it doesn't quite look like it. How do I get up there again? It doesn't look like you can reach it from here, does it? You can. Make sure I press the right button there. This game makes happy teddies. Alright, I've reached this point. This is where I gotta gather the three things. Damn, chat! Okay, we hit three hours here. And we're already near the end of Chucklehuck Woods. Good progress today. I am Chuckleroot, protector of woods. Ahead is Great Tree, Mother Chuck, uh, Lola. Only some may pass, some who find all three kinds of Chocola fruit. White Chocola fruit. Red Chocola fruit. Purple Chocola fruit. Find three types of Chocola fruit here, then I let you pass. I'm going so damn fast. Maybe I'm just good at, like, much gooder at the game, Mina. You ever think of that? Depth perception. Got him. My timing, I'm not confident in these guys. That's okay. There we go. Plus 30. How did I land in the middle of them? That's weird. Well, that was bad timing on my part. I thought he was doing the other one. Yeah, I did it again. Ain't there stupid differences in timing? Yeah, I did it again. I keep falling for it. That's why I hate these guys. It's fine, though. They'll die and I'll just eat a mushroom. Oh, yeah, he calls more. But that's fine. That's such extra, extra experience. Like, I will get more experience from the extra ones, so that's alright. 60. Better eat a mushroom. That's what they're there for. Looking for beans, looking for beans. Refreshing herb. Not that status conditions really come up that much in these games. I don't know why I keep trying to do with that. All right, let me try and focus on these guys now. Yeah, I did it early again. Why do I keep falling for it? I really don't need the counterattack on him, so I'm just getting greedy going for it. There we go. Just focus and be fine. chat for a second. These guys are attacking me. God oh, damn it. Gotta go, friend. Alright, see you later. Hit. Lucky 27. No friends coming for you. Lots of luck. Maybe I should put more another like a uh, level into stash next. Yeah, stash next. Purple Chocola Cave. We're almost there. More syrup. Give me them sweet, sweet coins. Night. 
Oh no, I go off repeater. That's what I'm doing. After I get this, too. Alright, a little too early there, but it's fine. Alright. A, B, A, B. Oh, come on. If you don't do it in perfect rhythm, you just... It eats your inputs for it. Grab that on the way down? Heck no. Okay, I gotta spin from over there. There it is. Purple Chocola Fruit. And this follows us, or takes us all the way back on this way. Luckily, I know exactly where I'm going. The brothers are succeeding, and they are achieving. There's still another one on the left side I gotta get. Fruit does also look like a bean. Yes, it does. I am the granddaughter of the great Chuckle Roots. This is my room, and may I say, how dare you enter a woman's room uninvited? Well, since you're here, I'll share my secret with you. Have you noticed the spots on the ground that look like this? These are spots where beans are buried in the ground. If the green one digs beneath the earth, the beans will pop out of the spot on the ground. There are a total of five beans hidden here. Find all five and I will open the door up ahead. Cocoa beans are nice. They make delicious hot cocoa. Everyone likes hot cocoa. found all five. You have done very well. If you find marks like these on the ground, dig immediately. You can tell she's a girl because of the bow. Exactly. And then was never seen again. Good night. All right, and down here... Yep, there it is. Oh, it automatically forces you to do it when you get near... pop in yet. Let me just check here for a second. There it is. Oops. Come on now. Oh, come on. I see it. How can I not get it? Going to come on up, Luna. I guess. All right. Looked like I was on top of it before. All right. Let me see here. Play it extra safe. we can. I'll have an excess of items towards the end for sure. Boss time, chat. Fine. That means two left now. Okay, he's calm down. I think Splash is good for you. Oh, I just one shot it up. What? Oh, okay. Damn. prepared to see that. That's a teddy dab indeed. Let's get some stash. Oh, okay, almost had a four, but three's good. Damn. I I didn't even know that I could do that. How the hell did young me like even take a few hits to kill him? Damn. If you have the slightest clue what you are doing in this game, coming back to it after playing as a kid, I'm destroying this. Jeez. That was great. I haven't even gotten to take the stat boosting drinks yet. Here I am complaining about getting, like, plus ones. Okay. Who needs plus ones when you can do all this crap? He has 34 HP. I don't... I didn't know that. Damn. 
I think the challenge is supposed to be like activate, like act, er, hitting like all four of his parts because they want you to like mess mess it up as you counterattack. That's the challenge of it. But geez, how long did you take in that fight, Mina? Go on, tell me. Go on. There we go. Oh, what did I bump into? Okay. Pop him. It's been like three or four cycles. Well, that's fine. What do you think I'm gonna do? Make fun of you because I'm better at Mario Luigi? What kind of baby would I be if I did that? I don't like these guys, so I'm gonna just kill them. And take this one out with regular attacks. There we go. It's fine to get hit by moves. Just hug a teddy or so and you'll be okay. Mario's level 13 now. Okay. I said I was gonna do stash again for... Let's go. Ooh, yeah, chat. This mustache looking fine. Okay, let's get some beans, chat. I knew this. I'd have less trouble going into this game after playing it for like, and not playing it for such a while. But um, I didn't think I'd be do. I'd be steamrolling bosses this badly. <laughs> That's great. There we go. I'll go ahead and kill all these guys. Oh, it's Gold Bean. I don't remember how much HP it has. It's gonna run. Yeah, it's gonna run. Damn it. Oh well. Oops. Kinda of paused on that for a moment. Only 11 HP? I probably would just burn his uh, brother's attack on it just for the hell of it, though. Excellent. beans around the area, though. Oops, we want the beans so we can make wonderful coffee later. I guess it's another reason, like, I wanted to, like, play this when we're doing more non-Pokemon RPGs is because, like, I want to, uh, you know, a game like this is kind of low pressure outside of uh, the tech difficulties. Poems of Love Volume 3 by Bubbles. Two are distant, pressing start, but once will do. Souls re rule reunite. Just means you can still press start to switch, even when you're split here. This game is being tastic. Damn it. Alright. I don't like watch speedruns of this game or anything, so. I wouldn't know, like, the advanced, like, strats for just killing bosses quickly. We gotta go back now so I can open this. Get the beans, because we'll need them later. I almost jumped on the thing first. And there's the last one. Alright, we're, we're immediately going to another boss. Let's go. What am I doing? I need to be able to have Mario on the side there. Oops. Well, let's go. I'm wondering, Mina, how far have you gotten in a few streams of this since you're playing it for your first time? Because from your point of view, I seem to be going super duper fast. There we go. Should I fight anything? I just got levels up, level up with both brothers, so I don't think I'd get another level. Taking your time, okay. Ooh. 
Save it again. Both brothers are level 13, right? Yes, they are. You found all three Chocola fruit types. I'm amazed. Very well. You pass. Very well. Go. Yes. Oh, yes. The path is open. We were stuck and couldn't get past here, see? Hiding here and waiting for a couple of schmoes was brilliant. All right, rookie. Let's not waste any more time. We're golden, see? Oh, you're that far. Okay. All right. Let's pick up some items. Don't see any beans to dig up here. <clears throat> Just double checking. All right, chat. <clears throat> I just saved, but I'm going to do it again, because why not? Ch Chocolola. All right, here we go. What do idiots drink? So duh. What do sodas call their dads? Pop. A hippie's favorite soda? Granola Cola. It's barely a joke. My name is Bubbles. I built Chateau de Chucklehuck, and I founded Chocola Cola Inc. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing and the chortling and the har har har. What is he wearing? Couldn't really tell on the old screen, but he looks like he's dressed like a potato. Yes, messieurs. Indeed, what you see before you is the legendary of sodas, the Chocola Reserve. And I am pleased to tell you this Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. Har he har, I have worked on Chocola Reserve for 1,000 years. Telling it joke after joke, so it will mature, and then mature some more, and then yet more. He's just a thousand years old. Until at last, the greatest soda of all would be completed with the fizz and the tastiness. Because it is a soda of such high caliber and repute, rude guests meet a fate such as this. You can see the zipper on the back, too. i never seen that before. That's no ordinary soda, see? can't stand up against such a beverage. Yeah. The great Chocola Reserve is a thing to savor, with the flavor and tang and yum in the belly. The soda's attacking. It is wonderful. So wonderful. The great soda shines. However, that was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have bred these past 1,000 years. Now I insist you fully experience the texture, taste, and aroma of Chocola Reserve. Bon Appetit! Alright. Alright, this is where you use your hammer attacks. The Jump Brothers attacks don't do very much to him. Ooh. Okay. Sometimes he shoots in a way that's hard to, like, manage there. Soda blobs to attack me. Ah. When he's up close, that one's hard to dodge. Okay. Thirty-seven. One more of this. Oh, he's already almost dead. Perfect. Oh, 
Bunny pigs are real hams. He got 15 HP for that joke. Oh, he killed Mario! I, I didn't realize he could even inflict status conditions. I actually never seen that before. Hang on. Well, it's bound to happen at some point. Get up, brother. Ooh, I thought I was- I thought I failed that, too. Yeah, no damage from jumps. Just wanted to show that. I didn't just accidentally hit the jump command instead of hammer. What are you talking about? Just finishing with knockback, brothers. And steamroll. Plus 260. Yahoo! All right. Yeah, the damage that enemies deal to you is pretty balanced too. If you're, if you like, aren't good at dodging, this game can really give you trouble when you're young. Um, what should I go for? I did stash the last level for each brother. Should I go for HP, brother's points? Go for attack. Alright, it's not one. I won't complain. No! But the jokes, the puns, the humor I've saved up the last a thousand years. Au revoir. And Chucklehawk Woods is done. Alright, now we're playing as Luigi. Let's just wipe that off. Chucklehawk Woods, underground. Mario's gone. We gotta go save him. I don't want to get in fights because it's gonna make the experience between characters uneven. And I can't deal with that. I can't handle looking at that. Just take the items and go. Oops. What have I done? What have I done? Oh well. A few coins. Bye, Luigi. Set and sail, going back to the Bean Bean Castle. Hmm, well look at this, a very Mario-esque fellow and a Lou, uh, some other guy. What? What is it? Mario's gut is filled to the brim with Chocola Reserve. It's sloshing around his insides. Gross. That's terrible. It's sort of disgusting. I must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's Chocola Reserve? Shh, I have no idea. Gru, Gru, uh. Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Chocola Reserve? Just spit it out of Mario's mouth into hers. Blarf. There's the belly bletch worm. She is saved. Oh, success. A truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success. Queen Bean has returned. Ah, that's the hardest I've laughed in a long, long time. Well done, Lady Lima. No, Your Highness, it is not I, but rather the Mario Brothers, whom you must thank. Hmm, so Cacletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice in the Bean Star. It was all my fault. Nonsense, but why would Cacletta steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? The Bean Star is the protector of this land, and it has the power to grant any and all desire. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Bean Star was cast into a deep sleep. 
It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the bean star from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who, who possesses such a voice. So the reason Cacletta stole Princess Peach's voice... Aha, she must plan to awaken the Bean Star and fulfill all her desires. And there's no mistaking her one true desire, to rule the world. Fear not, I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago. We are prepared. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. Your Highness, Prince Peasley has arrived. Perfect timing. Master Mario, Master Luigi, head out to meet Prince Peasley. Is there, like, anything behind her? No, that's not an opening. Just what cards have you drawn, Your Highness? Head out to meet Prince Peasley. Prince Peasley, where were you? It would be great if no one attacked the town or castle anymore. Yeah, that'd be nice. There he is! Cheers to Red and Greeny. Thanks for all your help earlier. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission's about to pay off. Prince Peasley, excellent work on your mission. Have you learned the whereabouts of Cacletta? <laughs> Thanks to you. Absolutely. Southeast of this castle is Woohoo Hooniversity. Hooniversity, it's hard to say it like that. Our local research institution. Cacletta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo Hooniversity. Yes, of course. Woohoo Hooniversity is the perfect place to awaken the Bean Star. I intend to march into Woohoo Hooniversity right this instant. May we meet again. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be your chance to recover Princess Peach's voice. I shall inform the locals you are to allow passage on the road to Woohoo Hooniversity. Alright, chat. This is probably a good point to save for the day. We're, th like, three and a half hours in. There we go. Surprising I went this long with it, too. Considering, like, the hour of tech difficulties we had before this. But it was worth the time and to set it all up. I think I'm going to continue this tomorrow. I'd say... We'll start the stream with more of this game. It'll be a lot of fun. But for now, let's go ahead and just take a break. Um, and switch over to Smeargles for the rest of the stream. I need a place to set the gamepad down. This damn thing is so large. Just put it here. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to get ahead of you. Yes, I am. And you can't stop me. Now then... For you too, this is where it stops for you. Hope you're enjoying this little playthrough. I'm having a lot more fun with it than I thought. So, have a good night. Look forward to more soon. Bye-bye.